Hello there. Back at it again with the island house. This is looking great. Kind of just gonna hang out until people arrive. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm distracted and I just start doing things. This is great. Feels weird with the boat not here. But we're back. We being me and probably you. I feel like I need to put some sort of guardrail on this. I definitely need to put some sort of guardrail on that. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Get rid of the rocks. Alright, a little bit of wood. I'll probably need more than that. Cat, can you please not? Thank you. Alright. <clears throat> this kind of guardrail? Or this kind of guardrail? I, I think I prefer this kind of guardrail for, for this particular space. And then these. No. There we go. That looks nice. Maybe... This instead. Oh yeah, definitely this instead. It's lovely. I should probably sleep. Joan, welcome. Happy Monday indeed. It's a good Monday morning. It's a beautiful morning. I should probably just go outside. Who would want to do that when I've got Valheim to play? Ah. What kind of garbage? What? Why would you say that? <laughs> um... Yeah, Island House is turning out pretty nice. I think it's not the best build in the world, but it's a good Waffles build, you know? It's decent. We could probably do the roof a little better, but it looks good enough. Uh, all right. I've actually got a good idea for how I want to do this. So, I'm going to redo this in favor of something better that I actually built in creative mode and just kind of messed around with. Peter, hello Waffles and chat. Yes, building is fun. <laughs> it can be fun. I just get frustrated so easily that I just don't always build. All right, we're going to move it. Oh, no, that's too close. All right, no, no, no. I hate it when you're when you push the right button. Like I, I'm okay. I want to go to the the hammer. I push the the button to go to the hammer, and ah, I'm already clicked on the armor stand, and it puts the hammer up. Stop it, game. Stop it. Get some help. All right, this is gonna be moved to somewhere. I am full up on inventory space. Great. Okay, regular wood going away. So we can put this up. Oh, but where? Where? Okay, we can change this in the future, but for now, we're gonna put it closer to the center right there. That's fine. And seven. And seven. And seven. And seven. Great, wood. We need this, we need this wood. I wanted to get rid of these. All right. Welcome, welcome in. All right, I have the space here. Now, what do I, how, how do I, okay, there's a divot here. I don't like this divot. I gotta get rid of this divot. That should be enough. All right, divot right there. Better, okay. So, the idea that I have in my head, do I go this way, or do I go this way? I think I go this way. So like, okay, 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 okay. The house goes like this, so then, one, two, three, four. I think I can actually go like right here. 
three, no, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then, for the future, one, two, three, four. Excellent. Play a few hours. Oh, you and Glitchy inspired me to start a new map with raids. Ooh, yeah, raids. It's definitely chaotic, but they're, they do make the game more fun. I don't think this is the right spot. I think we need to move it just a little bit this way. Uh, probably like this. Two, three, and I need to... Okay, I need to expand this just a little bit. Wait a few hours earlier on Akira Run. Ooh, yeah. Akira is just so great. Jirachi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Day is going great so far. Although, it's too early to tell for sure. <laughs> I need to add just a little bit of a corner right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Missing requirement. I have a workbench. It's just not close enough. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. 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 Come on. I have a workbench. It's over there. All right, we're going to get one a little closer. <laughs> a little better. Can he actually do it with the waves? All right, that should be enough. Okay. That's all we needed right there. Just a little lip right there. All right, back to building. Stamina. Slow Valheim player just beat Bonass last night for the first time. Nice. That's okay. You can play however works for you. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, and now I need space over here. Because we got, you know, we're going to have to put some upgrades back here. So I guess let's just add to this over here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. No need to go too crazy. Just enough. Alright. So we got that. And then I think we do... This. And this. Ooh. We do three. And then one, two... Oh! Okay. So that is the general gist. Ooh, actually, you know what? Since... Yeah, okay. That's a problem. There. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit wider than the uh, original plan. But I think this will look good. We have space for it, so why wouldn't we do it like this? You guys wouldn't know what the original plan is. But this is going to be awesome. This is going to be really, really good. A nice workbench area. 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 Canada 1.30pm. Okay, cool. Yeah, bone mass can be very challenging. So, excellent work. All right, this is actually perfect. So, now for this, we do this, we do this, and we do this. And then we'll just get this space ready for the future. Or actually, there's no point in doing that right now. This is the space that we really need. So... Do we do this? Do I do... Yeah. 
So there, and then this. There is not a smell of sulfur in the air. I reject that reality. Nothing will spawn. Because everything that can spawn will spawn in the water and die immediately. Like if they spawn out there, they can. Although I have a they have a, a fire out there, so it should be fine, right? They can't spawn over here, workbench. They can't spawn over here, workbench. Yeah, there's nowhere for them to spawn. Not gonna happen. Let's proceed with the originally scheduled program. Yes, this is the outdoor workshop that I workshopped <laughs> um, on a creative mode build that ended up being a build in itself. I wanted to do a secure compound fortress kind of thing, and so that's what I did. Uh, that video will probably be edited and released next week. And it actually turned out okay. Not incredible. As far as a Waffles brand uh, compound fortress kind of thing goes, it turned out pretty good. Okay, so from here, I think I need this stuff. Yeah. I may need more wood. So, all right. Grab this, and just for the funsies, let's pop it in there. Just like that. Okay, and then, so we have that space right there. And then upgrades can go back here if we decide to put some back here. Let's just level this out just a little bit. Yeah, whatever. Smells fading. I get it. Moving on. Can I do this? Should I do this? Yeah, I definitely need to do this. All right. And then from there, that's where these come. Mm. Mm. I think this needs to be here like this. I do that. See, I built it to the exact specifications that I wanted, but remembering what I built without just going and referencing. Ha! Ah, ah! Get up there. It's difficult. So I think this, and then I did this. Yeah, that's, that's going to be better. Okay. And then we can throw this on there. Missing requirement, fine wood. Hello, D9 edits. Can't read too much. Glad you stuck with the idea. Yeah, I think I think this is a good use of the area. And I basically what I did in the video that I will be releasing. Um, well, I, I at first kind of did a little bit of experimenting in creative mode, and I just built this idea. I kind of messed around with ideas. And I built this. Um, but what I did was I I did the workbench, the forge, the black the black forge, and the other one, the Galder table, I think it's called. Uh, and yeah, it worked great. It turned out that it fits all of the options, all of them very nicely. Uh, and it's it's pretty great. See, I could put this here, but I don't need to do that. So what I do is I do this. Just frame it up with some some delicious wood pieces like that. I think that looks pretty good. I don't know if I'm married to this idea yet, but we'll see. And then we've got... Do I do this? Yeah, early stream today. Just because I felt like it. Um, you see, this is wider than the other one in that it's one it's one longer so the other one that i built wasn't this long 
So it was it was wide enough for just one roof like this. Because this roof is fine as it is, like that. So what I could do is experiment by just opening it up a little bit. Getting rid of these in favor... Okay. In favor of this. And... This. See, this is how I had it. And this will still work just fine. And then I can put this up here. And then I'll frame it. So, I think for that, that's going to be good. That's, yeah, we'll, we'll just work with that. So, we'll just hold off on this one. Because we can utilize this space over here. So, if we need to update that side, when the time comes, when we get the Black Forge, we can. That's, that's easy to do. Because all we need is just like... Well, let's frame it with just a little bit of this. Boom. And then we'll start building the exact reverse of this. But this is fine. This is beautiful. So, this. This and this. And then one of that. Nope, not like that. How about like that? There we go. So this is nice. This is nice. We've got... That space right there. Um, I mean, I kind of want to put it right here. That's the other idea that I had in mind. Since it was already built over there, just put it right there. Love the black wood. Yeah, black looks nice. It is lovely. Gives you a little bit of a you know little little view around. I could probably put some back here, but I've got ideas for that that I will get to when I get to it. But. Uh, do I build it? Do I leave it right there? Or do I build it over here? Because if I build it over here, it will look good right now. But when I build the reverse side over, over on the other side, it will be on kind of in the way right here. So I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there. And, okay. From here, we put this in. We go back to this. And we go back to this. And we pop these in as well. A little bit of framing. And we're not going to do the center part just yet. Because we've got these to pop up. These are going to be our storage shelves. So instead of having like a separate shelving area, we put boxes right up, to right up top there. And I experimented with using the iron ones. Um... But the regular ones actually look a little bit cleaner. Because the regular, the, the iron ones, I had to put like this. To fit them in properly. Or else they would stuck out a lot. But these ones, they just look a lot better. So, scaffolding is necessary. To get this right. And actually, what we really need to do is add the... Um, upgrades in first. I don't know. Liking below will help out. Oh, yeah. If you like, that'd be great. Appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, you're headed now? Well, thanks for stopping by. I like this. I think it's looking good. The biggest thing we need to do today is take all of our stuff, all of our iron, all of our metals, and bring it all the way down. It's going to be a long trip, but we got to do it. This is our this is our primary home now. It's going to be it's going to be awesome because it's safe. <laughs> yeah, who knows where it'll end? That's for sure. But you know. This is pretty good. Let's see, what can I build? I can do all of this. Minus this. That's a forge and workbench. Okay, never mind. Alright. So, let's go back to the other house. And we'll just bring our stuff. We do have a lot of black metal here. That's cool. 
We're gonna get our max comfort for now. Early stream, yes! Welcome, welcome in. I'm just gonna bring all of our stuff out to the new base, but first we're gonna sleep. I don't know how much of the house will dismantle. Mostly just the innards. We just need the stuff on the inside. Most of it can be transported via portal. Oh, before we do that... See, we've got iron chests over here, but not too many. We have one, two, three, four, five. Which, each iron chest is two iron. So that's, that's not nothing. But they do hold a lot of stuff. So... Let's just... Alright, step one. We'll transfer all this over to the boat. Can I make it to the boat from here? Yeah, I probably... Mm, yeah, mmm... No, not really. Okay. Nope. Nope. Let's just swing the butt back in or something. That'll get us a little closer. Yeah, that's a little better. But we can't, we still can't touch it from here. Alright, how about for the purposes of this exercise, we will build a chest. Oh yeah, the car. Hey, hey. Get out of here. It is dark, man. <laughs> we can't. Oh, this is going to take forever. This is going to take a minute. Uh, Alright. Do I have any wood over here? No, I do not. Fine. I'll kill a tree. Any trees. Finally got your first Sertling trophy. Unlimited lighting. Yes. They are pretty fun. It's a really good idea. I should I should really collect Sertling trophies and use them as lighting. That's it is a good idea for sure. So now we can pop that there. And then we can jump on here and access that through here. Yeah, great. Okay. Missed a few of the live streams. This is a solo world, yeah. Um, so basically this is... Uh, I just created a world for... Um, live stream. That's really it. I just I wanted to stream. And I didn't know exactly... Should I do the Adventures of Waffles? Should I do something separate? No, I just made a, a very hard mode playthrough. Solo, mostly. But uh, Glitchy has stopped by a couple times. And one episode in particular, I had a few other people come by so that we could kill the motor together. And I just, I couldn't solve her on my own. That was quite the puzzle. Uh, so, yeah, that was a fun, that was a fun time. But mostly this is a solo, very hard mode playthrough. And it's been a lot of fun. And a lot of chaos. But imagine that, imagine that. Okay. Here we go. I think I'm gonna make it. Oh, but it's ah. Oh, ooh, it's getting close. Bringing all of our metals over there, so that we can start building stuff. Chaos pairs well with waffles. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Will I make it? Ah. Yes. Okay. Just barely. Excellent. All right. Now I can grab it again. 
Look at that. Perfect. Boom, 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 boom. Fabulous. All right, what else do I need to take in the boat? Uh, I could probably just dismantle this. Missing. No, no, I'm not. No. What? Oh. Oh, that's a problem. No, it's not. I have extras. Somewhere. Yeah. I need more wood. Look at that, wood. Okay. Pop that down. Now I can break this. We'll grab the stuff. Yeah, it's just 10 iron. So we'll put this iron away. So I ended up finding a locator for moral order. Not for bone mass. Yeah, sometimes it happens like that where, you know, you just... <laughs> You stumble upon the location before you actually get the, uh, the location. You know what I mean. Excellent. All right, let's put the materials in the boat that we need. The rest we can transfer. What do we have here? Yes! An early Monday stream. We're putting things away so that we can transfer as much as possible. Oh yeah, the server, that's right, yeah. Um, 20 iron, damn. Yeah, I, I would, I am looking forward to jumping back into the Waffle Iron server. But, I mean, yeah, definitely been stagnant since everybody's kind of progressed as much as possible. But we are. We are waiting for the Ashlands. As soon as that uh, public test beta comes out, public branch comes out, the test testing branch. Oh, I'm not going to make it this time. Aw. Uh, I'm going to update the server, and we're going to go. It's going to be a lot of fun. Moving time, yes. The obliterator. Cool. Cool. Alright, put this stuff away. I can easily take that with me. Ooh, this stuff as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can just move all that normally. But I can't move the box. So... I should probably put regular boxage out. Really? Oh, this guy. This guy. Can you please not? Thanks. I will not forget the bees. Now you don't need to go on the boat. All that stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah. More iron. 15. I guess I'll just slowly walk over once again. Yeah, it's the the metals. That's going to be the biggest difficulty to get over. But hopefully we don't have to make more than one trip. And if we leave a little bit of material over here, it's fine. We have portals. We can always come back. I could never forget the bees. The bees deserve a ride on the boat. <laughs> uh, if only we could attach the bees to the mast, that would be pretty awesome. A lot of iron, damn. I could just kill this. Oh, I don't have... I didn't launch with mods, so I can't trash it. But I guess I technically could just obliterate it. Oh. 
Bwah. So cool. Never gets old. Just kill it. Okay. So we still have this box. Let's put some stuff in these two boxes. This is rocks. Rocks box. And we'll put coal in there as well. We got our wood box. Additional plains and mountains items. Let's put these in there for now. Seeds. Okay. That goes there. And that can go there. That can go there. Alright, I don't need these tools right now. So let's put that there. And we'll put that there. That's fine. Beverage. Did you lock up a bee in the chest? That's not a happy bee. No, I did not. Wait, did I? Did I? No, I wouldn't have done that. No. No, I don't think so. Oh, I need a forge so I can destroy this. Alright, how do I make a forge? Six copper. Second right. I do have more bees. Not very happy bees, that's right. I can build a field, but I just didn't need them. And I didn't want to kill them. That's true. You're right. My bad. Break the wall. That's true. You're right. Oh, but it hurts. Good enough. Uh, our house. Our poor house. It's fine. We'll just open this up. We'll open it up. I am not missing the required crafting station. Do I need a forge for this too? Seven. The workaround. It's good enough. There you are. Okay, that's... We're full up on stuff. It's an open concept, yeah. All of that deliciousness. Now again, we really should... Put um, boxes, like our actual storage over there before we do anything else. But we kind of can't, because I, I kind of want to do them with reinforced chests. <laughs> Good enough. Alright, fine wood and regular wood can go there. Alright, what else do we got? I know we have more upgrades down below. So we're grabbing those. And we got those as well. We will need those. Alrighty. Excellent. Let's let's just make sure the floor is still there. There's still the floor. It don't it don't gotta be perfect. Yep. Expected. Alright, put the metals on the boat. Hopefully we don't lose this boat. This is kind of an important boat. 
I should probably grab the obliterator, shouldn't I? Uh, what do I need for that? Oh well, let's try to break it. This is going to take a while. Stamina. The hidey hole. Do we have a hidey hole? Yeah. Seriously. Will there ever be a special occasion that warrants you changing the cape color? I mean, maybe. I, I've never thought of it. I mean, orange is the color of waffles. That is my standard theme. It's my favorite color, personally. Um, so if there was an orange cape, I would use it immediately. But there's only a red cape. So I can't do that. Cooking stuff on a... Th yeah, I'll... Yeah, definitely... Definitely necessary. Oh... I guess I'm going to have to break it. Good enough. And I can't do that. But I can do these. And I won't break that. But I'll light myself on fire. So that I can go over here. And break this. This feels wrong. <laughs> okay. No, I pushed it again. Every time. Armor stand. Uh, I'll definitely need that. I'll need that. Excellent. Red jute. We'll take it. Alright. Let's do a quick little dump. Nope. All this stuff. Okay. Grab, 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 grab. All of this can be portaled. Oh man, that's gonna take forever. So much stuff! No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah, seriously, Orange Cape would be awesome. Devs! Ooh, you know what I should do? I should get like a capes mod just so I can have an orange cape. And make sure I can get it every time. This is taking absolutely forever. Let's try this. Not better. Forge. Great. Oh, here we are. Thanks for the info on the arena. Um, was it you asking about the build video for it? Sometimes the name in the, uh, the app is a little bit different from what I see here in chat. I can also show the at username instead of the uh, chosen username, you know? Never noticed the menu order? Yeah, it's definitely very obvious <laughs> like this um, when you're naked. It's very obvious, but you put a bunch of clothes on, less obvious, that's for sure. I'm just going to get rid of my stuff. Ability to dye armor. And some... Yeah, definitely. That would be really cool. I'd love to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy the uh, arena. That's it's a, It was a fun build. Definitely the first build video that I released, I think. Um, and it just turned out so good. It was a lot of fun to build. Um... It was 
definitely a lot of fun. Especially since it was a way to coax my friend back into the game for just a little bit. <laughs> This is how we do things. This is how we do it. I guess I could... Alright. I'm cheating. B. And we're just gonna kill it. Alright. That didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Carrying too much. I did remove dev commands, but just to break those, I enabled them really quick. Oh, yeah, thanks. I think the Battle Axe... <laughs> you didn't see a thing. <clears throat> um, Battle Axe is a good weapon. I just... It's rough. If you don't use it a lot... It's tough to get used to really any weapon. And I felt the same thing about at gears at first. I did not like them until I gave them a good another shot. And then once I really knew how to use them, they became probably really close to being my favorite weapon in the game. One of the most versatile, that's for sure. Battle axes, I'm not sure about still. I do like them. I just don't think they're the end all be all answer for me. But somebody commented on that video saying that somebody else did a full axes only playthrough. And I think that's pretty cool. It could be a lot of fun because both weapons I generally don't love um, together. That could be fun. I need to I need to light this up. I need to get this get this going. Where is the where is the there? And there. All right, now I can see. And we go up to where we can't see. <laughs> Got me hooked back on swords. Nice. Swords are definitely the best weapon in the game. Easily the most versatile. Although one could say the same about clubs. Very versatile as well. I think I need to add these right here as well, but we'll remember to do that another time. Alright. Put that away, put that away. Get some red jute in there too. This is gonna be great. This is definitely gonna be really great. Alright. Um let's I'm just I'm debating what I should do. Like I definitely need to bring my stuff over to the boat over here and dock right here. That'll be great. That'll be wonderful. Excellent. Fantastic. But I need storage. I will need some sort of storage to put things in. So like all the metals, where where are they gonna go? They're probably gonna go in boxes up here. Or maybe I build a little shelving system right here. But I don't know. Like up here would make sense for materials at least. Forge and workbench materials. But aside from that, I don't know. I kinda want the reinforced chest is what I'm meaning. That's that's why I'm second guessing things. Let's just go. I haven't beat the Elder in Bone Mass. In Silver Age with full gear. Max Silver Armor. You haven't beat the Elder. Oh, wow. What do you call a blunt axe? Nothing. Axes don't have ears. <laughs> yeah, goof. Okay, just that. That's all we had down here. Oh 
Okay. Do these require metal? Yeah, they require iron. Okay, we'll take those with us, I guess. Silver? Where'd I get silver? Oh, the thing, yeah. Boom. Boom. Still carrying too much. All right. Well, what about this? No, I don't have any space for it. Let's get rid of that. Cool. Still carrying too much. All right. I guess it is a full stack of iron. Okay. We're making progress. I'm going to have to retitle this episode Moving Day. Oops. Uh. I had that still enabled. I thought that would just disable. Get out of here. Have you watched some other Valheim creators like Haunted Oath or Ember? I have not. I've probably seen maybe a couple of their videos, but I mean, I can't remember exactly which is which. Um, I don't really watch other people's playthroughs, and I kind of stopped watching other people's videos so that I didn't um, get too influenced by other people's content, so I would just like get ideas for making different videos and different... Yeah, I, I, I want to I wanna keep it at least partially just me, but that's not that important. It's just what I think. Alright. Is there any other metal that we definitely need to bring? Like these. This is metal, right? No. Yeah, I also... I don't know. It's... I... It's definitely something that I enjoy. I love Valheim, and so for quite some time, I was obsessed with it. I watched all of the videos as soon as they came out, and it was a lot of fun. But then, I started playing a lot more myself, and I started making videos myself, and so I kind of just uh, stopped watching other people's stuff, and it was just, you know, more like I just wanted to put my own time into it, but it also was... Just like I said, it's a little bit on the side of I kind of want to not have too much influence um, from other people. I want to have a genuine me playthrough where I'm not just copying other people's builds constantly. Um, so I don't I don't watch too much YouTube, uh, too much Valheim YouTube on the side. I think that's about it. I, there's nothing else that we need to grab. Where am I moving? Um, the island house. So I've got an island house over here. I have built a new home. Can't steal ideas if you don't know they exist. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just see something like on Reddit or the Facebook page or whatever. And I'll just start building. Because it'll influence me a little bit. But I don't know. I don't want to put all of my time into Valheim. And so that's another reason why I haven't been watching too much. Because I generally... If I'm going to immerse myself in Valheim, it's going to be my own stuff. Not necessarily other people's as well. Especially since I'm creating so much. This whole channel is pretty much Valheim. Your birthday. Uno, hello. Welcome. It is your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hot tub is a good idea. Uh, there's no metal in the hot tub, is there? There's iron. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I don't want to be too burnt out. That makes... Yeah, definitely a good way to put it. Alright, I think that's all the metal. If we need to make another trip, we can make another trip. Let's grab some food. We'll top off our rested. And we'll head out on our adventure. I 
guess I need to get more fish. We're going to have to do more fishing. If you play a Valheim world for like 300 days, you get emotionally attached to it. Yeah, sure, for sure. Sussy. What's sussy? Oh, Comfort 6 is only 13 minutes. Well, oh, good enough. This. I want to take this. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, fishing stuff. Wood. No room. Yeah, I get it. So much stuff. Okay. Ah, good enough. Let's go. Let's let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Google Translate. That works. All right, here we go. And we're leaving a few different little chests because it's only three iron, two iron each. So three, two, four, six. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out for the little knoll. Little sandbar. Oh, you're finally going to move because... Oh, well, great. Great job, me. Dangerous little sandbar. Yeah, perfect weather for a voyage. Here we go. Okay. Now we should be clear. Let's go. We have the wind so far. I should have probably grabbed motor. Yeah, good, good wind for sure. You live in Norway now, but Finland will always be in your heart. Yeah. Finland will be in my heart, too. I went to Helsinki twice when I was living in Estonia. Love that place. I found a great bar in Helsinki. Absolutely incredible drinks. Really high quality. It was called... Uh, I think Liberty or Death is what it was called. It was an awesome, awesome, classy bar. I visited lots of... Not lots, but a decent amount of European countries. I was living in Estonia for a while. Um, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Would go back instantly. Um, and then I went on a couple trips to Helsinki on over weekends. Little short little trips. It was awesome. Uh, during that time, I went to... Also took a big, a big trip. And I, I took uh, probably two weeks off from work. And I went to Scotland for six total nights. Six or seven, I think. Uh, went to... I stayed in Edinburgh for a while, and then I went rented a car and drove throughout the Highlands. Took some photos. It was an absolutely incredible trip. Would recommend. Solo trip as well. Uh, I went... From there, I went to Dublin for three nights. Uh, took a bus over to... Um, Cliffs of Mower. That was absolutely incredible. Got some great images there. I... For those who don't know, I love photography. It has been one of my biggest hobbies. Um, not lately, really, but I still love it. I still really enjoy it. But I kind of have gotten out of it a little bit, but I still really enjoy photography. Um, from 
Ireland. I went to London for three nights and just enjoyed the, the, the underground railroad. Not the railroad, you know what I mean. The local transportation. It was awesome. Um, didn't go anywhere outside of London. I just went to London and just walked around, had some fun. Uh, from there, I visited some family that I have in Switzerland. And that was a big trip. That was awesome. West Coast of Scotland is your favorite area. Vecla, welcome. Around the Oban. Yeah, I visited Oban. Isle of Sky. never got to that. Well, did I? Yeah, I did go to the Isle of Skye um, very, very briefly. I should have spent a whole lot more time in Scotland, though. But Oban is my favorite scotch. I, I absolutely loved that town when I went there. It was so gorgeous. Um... I just had so much fun there, and I did the distillery tour. Great distillery. Lots of fun. I wanted to do Lagavulin, because that's another one of my favorites, uh, mostly because of <laughs> Ron Swanson, <laughs> uh, but it's also delicious. I wanted to go to the Islas, but I just, I, it was a logistical challenge that I wasn't prepared for, um, so I would have needed to kind of plan in advance for that, and I didn't get around to it, but I need to go back for sure. Uh, aside from that, let's see. Did photography, for photography professionally for a few years. Nice. I've never really done it professionally. I've done, well, I guess one could say that I have done it professionally a little bit. I did a little bit of um, real estate photography. I would like to get more into that, but it's kind of difficult to break into. You kind of have to know somebody who knows somebody. Also, it's just a lot of work, and I like not working. <laughs> but I don't know. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I live. Where do I live now? I live in the U.S. Central Washington State. A beautiful place. First time I saw a Golden Eagle was there. Oh yeah, distillery tour is great. It was. It was absolutely fantastic. I love a good distillery tour. The best one that I've ever been on was actually in Kentucky. It was Michter's, M-I-C-H-T-E-R-S. If anybody's tried Michter's, they are probably my favorite bourbon. And I had never heard of it until my friend, uh, I had a couple friends who I was going uh, on these distillery tours with. We went to Michter's, she planned the tour. It was a great tour, but they just did such a great job at describing all of the things and all the things and stuff. Did I see a serpent spawn ahead of us or was that just multiple fish spawning into the into existence. That was weird. <laughs> um, yeah. Michter's delicious. Their rye especially. Fantastic. Adult juice. Please drink responsibly. <laughs> Beautiful place first. Yeah, okay. Do we stream regularly? There is a serpent over there. Why? How? This is middle of the ocean, during the day. How is there a serpent over there? Riddle me this, game. Riddle me this. It's supposed to be during the night, right? Let's see if we can aggro it. Let's see if we can make a new friend. Get some serpent stew, maybe. There we go. Give me your stew juice. Nope. We really don't need to have a serpent right now, though. It's getting close to being dead, though. Not really. Oh, it's fast. This could get really dangerous really quickly. Come on back. Come on back. I can't hit anything. I can't hit it. Oh, this is bad. It's gone. It's gone. 
All right, no serpent for me. That was weird, though. If they're supposed to spawn only at night or during some sort of storm. That's what I thought, at least. But no, it just randomly spawned right there. Yeah, poor Mr. Bob missed out on the server, and that's for sure. Wow. Well, we took a lot of damage. No, we didn't take that much. Just got hit once. Also, I shot the boat once. Angry Danger Noodles. <laughs> they don't know the clocks. They don't follow rules. Or stormy conditions. Yeah, I mean, this is the opposite of the conditions that it's supposed to spawn in, and it spawned. So, myth confirmed? They spawn whenever they want? Mist might be the edge, edge of a storm. Yeah, that, that's it's possible. <laughs> They're only supposed to spawn in the ocean, and the ocean right now is clear. So, whatever. Whatever, skis. You know, Loss, you're the only YouTuber that I don't crave for a face reveal. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Not that you'd be ugly or something. That $19,000 that you're very handsome, but I like your content like this. Hey, that's great. Uh, I saw something else over there. Was that an abomination? I have decided pretty much that if it is decided, if people want it, I would do one at maybe start live streaming with face at 100k. Not before. It's not something that I really care about. It's not really something that I think anybody really... Oh, it's with Troll. Anybody really needs or wants. This isn't about me. This is about, you know, it's about the game. And I like the clean look of the game without anybody's random face in there. I read in the patch notes that they spawn near waffles, too. <laughs> when the conditions are right and the waffles are plentiful, they will spawn. Previously spawned it and only refound it now. Like the, uh, like the Battle Axis video that I just released. That random stone golem after the abomination was killed. That was so weird. I wish I had planned that. I mean, it wouldn't have been that cool anyway. But still, I did not plan that at all. But I just, like, you can you can do, like, spawn, spawner, stone golem. That's probably what I did right there. And nothing showed up. I was confused. And then, suddenly, it showed up. So that was so weird. When I didn't expect it, it showed up. That was definitely really weird. Sometimes that happens, I guess. Uh, I'm going to need to figure out where I'm going. I need to go either through here, but I know I can go this way. So let's go left. Oh, of course, not into the, into the wind. I feel cold. You finally caught into the stream. Yeah. Good. Troll versus Serpent in the arena. I actually have spawned a Serpent in the arena. It just, it can't do anything. Since it's not on, not in water. I could give it a... I could, I could do a, um... I can't think of the word. The hot tub. I could give it a hot tub for fun. Oh, look at this view. Look at this beautiful view right here. Ah. Oh, glorious. Face cam, if you're comfortable, don't be forced. Yeah, if if the time comes and there is demand for it, maybe I would do that. But not before 100k, if we get there. Which, eh, probably not going to happen. Have I used dev commands? Yes, a little bit. Not much. Barely. Like earlier this episode, I used them just so that I could break a couple things that I already removed the forge. So I didn't want to go grab the stuff at the forge. And um, a couple streams ago, I spawned, basically, I, I added dev commands, and I threw down a, um, 
stone cutter in our island because I would have had to do this to grab the iron to make the stone cutter. So when I got back to my other house, I just deleted the amount of iron to have made that would have taken to make the, uh, the stone cutter. I just needed to build. I wanted to build. And I didn't want to get distracted by doing this, which I knew I was going to do anyway. So yeah, a couple little things. Glad you're putting... Oh, yeah. Uh, wait. Let me read this. You're putting out quite a bit of content lately. Yeah, I'm glad. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, I've been kicking your ass. Oof. I'm, I'm really glad that you've been enjoying it. That's fantastic. I'm able to keep up with it for now. Um, I might be starting some sort of job sometime soon. I won't go into de detail with it, but... Yeah, it is, uh, it is definitely nice to be able to do this and put pretty much all of my spare time into this channel. I'm really glad that I can do that. I'm thankful that I have the time, the patience, the know-how, and just the ability to do that. While I can, I'm doing as much of this as I can. Because it's fun. I'm not burnt out. <laughs> They just flap around and look panicked. Yeah, serpents. That's true. They just await their inevitable death. Hilarious, but anticlimactic. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Full, they're basically alive, but full ragdoll mode. Yeah, always honest. I will always be honest. As much as I can. I have to build a... Oh, yeah. Some sort of... Water, water in? I don't know what that word is. Battle with noodles. <laughs> Danger noodle versus eight forbidden gummy worms. <laughs> forbidden gummy worms. I'm sure I've heard that before, but that's great. Not a scandalous job. Um, only feet, only fans. That's great. That's it. Water arena. Okay, gotcha. That's, ooh, that could be a lot of fun. <laughs> like give it give it like big channels to go through I'm thinking that would be a lot to work on a lot of building I'm not qualified for this like there's there's a there's a land element for sure but there's like water channels as well through the through the, through the land that could be good Yeah. Seriously, keep your head up. Life goes on. What you think matters probably doesn't matter that much. Like so many people, like myself included, get stressed over things that they can't control or things that don't actually have any effect on their life. Now, obviously, there are things that do come about that you need to be worried about. You need to be aware of and find a path around it, like the previous job that I had. Very stressful. A lot of it was internal because of reasons. Um, but, you know, some things you can control, or at least, at the very least, how you react to it, how you treat others around you, how you treat yourself. Like, you know, be kind to yourself. It's good. Um, I'm learning that myself. But damn. A lot of things are out of your control. And it's difficult not to let that get to you. But it is something that one can learn. Yeah, you're pushing through. I did not enjoy that previous job. But it enabled me to do this. At least a little bit. Started this channel while I was out there and doing that kind of thing. I'm glad I'm no longer doing that thing. But I can be thankful for what it did for me. Yeah, it could be a project. Yeah, snap your fingers, ban no more struggles, that's for sure. Life is hard. Life is definitely definitely a challenge, no matter what. But stress management, very important. I've said this before, but if it is work that's hurting, if that is something that really is 
the pain in your life, if there is a way for you to move on from that particular job, do it. It's It can be a difficult thing. It can be something that takes time to prepare yourself for. But it can be done. Um, you know, I'm kind of in between jobs right now, at least mostly. I'm looking at something else right now. But I would prefer to do this full time and something else like part time. But who knows? I don't know. Nobody knows. But stressing over work, it's just not worth it anymore to me. I don't want something that's extremely stressful, something that I, you know, takes my entire identity and pours it into a job. I want my, I think I've said this before, but I do not want work-life balance. I want imbalance. I want life to be heavily outweighing work. That's simply the way that life should be. Life should not be just work. I want something that makes me feel fulfilled in life. It makes me feel like I'm you know, supporting a good mission, doing something that actually matters. That will take up some of my time throughout the week, throughout the day. I know that I have to work to make money. I have to do something, whatever that may be. But that something doesn't have to be misery. That something doesn't have to be garbage. That something can contribute good to the world, or at the very least, can make me not feel miserable. I can find that. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. Isaiah, welcome. It's a lesson which takes a lifetime to master. That is for sure. Even, even experts in, like, Stoic philosophy and that kind of stuff, they struggle with it every day because that kind of thing just takes... It's a practice. It's, it's like... Um, it's not something that you just instantly, oh, you hear it once and you suddenly, oh, I'm going to apply this to my life and completely just be a completely different person. No, it's a practice. It's just like a, a psychiatry practice. It's something that you continuously do every single day. It's a practice. It's not something that just completely overhauls your life and you're a different person suddenly. This is a nice island up here. I'm sure I saw it on the way for my other island. Yeah. Life is hard. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> work to live, don't live to work. That's for sure. Basically, it all boils down to do what makes you not feel miserable. Because most people can't really just do what makes you happy and have that actually sustain your life. Simply, that's not the case. It just can't happen. So, you have to do what makes you feel like you're contributing to society, contributing to the world, maybe. Or, at the very least, do what doesn't make you miserable. I have, like, no friends. Ooh, ouch. So it makes you feel good to rely on superheroes. Oh, hey, I'm glad. This is... You know, some people will say, well, this is the internet. You can't make friends on the internet. You can't have social interaction if you're just on the... That's not true. You can absolutely have social interaction. Like, I'm streaming right now, and I feel like I'm definitely getting a lot of social interaction right now. All of you guys, it's fantastic. This is awesome. I tend to lean towards the introverted side, introverted tendencies. Um, I can masquerade as an extrovert, but I, I'm probably 70% introvert, or at least in the uh, inside, but I have a lot of extroverted tendencies as well. I'm not very good at making friends with random people. I'm not very good at social situations where I don't know anybody or I don't know more than like one person. I guess I'm dating somebody and she takes me to uh, get together with some of her friends from work or whatever. I do a bad job at events like that because I don't know anybody. I don't know how to relate to the random specific conversations that they're having. And I just feel like I can't just walk up to a group of people and just start awkwardly listening to their specific conversation that I'll never be able to relate to. I find that very difficult. But if I have a good friend who understands those kinds of things, they can introduce me, they can have that kind of conversation. 
I'm just not good at butting in or inviting myself. But I'm trying to be better at that. I'm trying to be more extroverted, especially if I have a couple adult juices. I'm a lot better at being a little more outward in my personality in social situations that I'm unfamiliar with. But that is, it is tough. It is tough to get used to that. And I'm 35. I'll, it's very, very difficult to make new friends. And I moved to a completely new area to me. I've, I've been here a few times, multiple times over the past 10 years. My friend, who I moved by, he's been out here for a long time. And so I visited him a few times. And basically, um, you know, I'm, I'm meeting a lot of his friends. And I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I haven't really hung out with anybody else yet. But... At the very least, I have one person who bridges the gap between people that I don't know and people that he knows. So that's nice. Um, I would say I have two friends because his partner is definitely a friend of mine as well. I am sailing to our new home, the island down here. We're bringing all of our unportable materials lost in this conversation. Okay, I'll move it. I'll change it on. I'll change it up. And the most socializing with you in a day. Hey, that's good. I mean, there's there's lots of ways to make friends. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely no expert, but there are definitely ways to go about it. Ways that it can be done. Joining clubs, going out, doing things, not necessarily going to the bar or whatever. But, you know, if you have... I, I don't know much about you, but if you have um, I don't know, school or classes or just like general clubs in your area go sign up for fencing club photography club whatever hiking club that's a good way to have some sort of social interaction and make some friends that's the only way that adults can do it <laughs> but you know if you're if you're in school that's that's a good way to do it social masking tends to present as a confidence Present as confidence, people just don't realize. Yeah, I'm screaming out the inside. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I think it's becoming more and more prevalent in our society as people are becoming more and more aware of um, how awkward social interaction can be for certain people. People are being more aware of it because of the internet, because of social media, because of um, little TikTok videos or full size videos, whatever. People making little skits. I like Viva La Dirt League is my favorite sketch comedy club. I don't know if I would call them that, but they they do a lot of different sketch comedy stuff, D and D stuff, video game stuff. But they also have like a, a series on mental health, and they they take mental health very seriously. And if you listen to their podcast, which is relatively new, but they've got like 17 episodes out, it's fantastic. They talk about that kind of stuff, and it's good to have conversations about this kind of stuff, so that people can be aware and just, you know, know how you think and know how other people feel. Because if you go through life with only one perspective, how are you supposed to live? You only can only do so much. Well, hey, look at that. Got another Serpy. Let's see if we can do this. I need to be moving, though. Please do not break the boat. This is not a good thing. But I would like to kill you. Can't get me. We're not going to be able to get him, are we? Tough to hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good, 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 good. Come on, one more, one more, one more. There it is. Alright. Well, sadly we didn't get all the stuff, but we got some serpent meat. And I am dying. Excellent. Look at that. We got some serpent meat. We're almost home. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, 
had to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sailing to the island. To the island home. Parents say... Parents always say... It'll be alright. They're right, but always it doesn't feel like that. For sure, yeah. When we're in difficult situations, it always feels like we'll never get out. Oh, I want those serpent skills. And the trophy! Oh, can I get the trophy? There's no way, right? It's right there. It's not that deep. Maypoles, you know, using deck commands. I feel like I should be able to get this. Okay. No. Way too deep. Way too deep. Damn, that's unfortunate. Look at all those scales, too. Should I cheat? I'm cheating. Shh. That didn't happen. Nothing happened. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oopsies. I really wanted that stuff. Scuba Viking. You didn't see a thing. <laughs> Nothing happened. Everything's wonderful. Everything's normal. Oh, yeah. I, I dragged it to the sea. and yeah, I kind of just want the... I'm not going to really use the Serpent Scale Shield. But it will make a nice display item. Maybe we'll use it a little bit here and there. Because this is very hard difficulty. And regular shields don't parry very well. Don't block very well. Heretic! <laughs> Instantly up subs. <laughs> Changing out the laundry. <laughs> floating mod into the game. Yeah, I could see that making sense. Being handy. I've seen mods that allow you to... Oh, we're going to have to go through this way, aren't we? Uh, they allow you to basically swim normally. You can go down. That would make sense. You should be able to. When grinding materials to pass the time in your game, when the new biome hits, I can visit it on my existing game, right? As long as the area is untouched. As far as I know, yes, that is the case. Pretty much. It will generate, as long as you haven't been to that location, it will generate normally. Um, but there are mods. There's like the uh, Update World or something mod. Uh, where basically if you have explored certain areas, that will do it. Just stay at least 400 meters away and it will render that area. Yeah, because this, this right here, this island, is actually kind of close to the Ashlands. Which is another reason why I kind of want to be down there. Because we'll have a nice staging area closest to the Ashlands. Why do you leave this beautiful base? Because I have a new island. And I can still have that base. I can still have that. It's fine. Now, unfortunately, at this base, we'll have to, well, yeah, we don't have, like, Black Forest close by, so we can't just go over to the Black Forest right over here and mine some more copper and tin. We'd have to, we'd have to really do that on purpose. We'd have to go find it and take a boat. How dead is my boat? My boat is not that dead. I keep hearing phantom serpents. I keep hearing it in my head. <laughs> Trauma. One dark metal chest for every single metal I'm working on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a lot of preparation, but I get it. 
Modded playthrough of Valheim. Yes. Definitely. Currently modded. I didn't launch with mods today, but I do technically play a modded now. Plant everything in the trash mod. That's really it. But I have thought about doing, like, if, if this stream right here, if we get to the end and there's nothing else really to do, starting a new playthrough, heavily modded, with, like, new weapons, new enemies. I don't know if there's other biomes, but I have also thought about trying first person. That could be a lot of fun as well. I have thought about that. But that will be a while away. But I would like to continue streaming. I once ate a sandwich in the cafeteria. <laughs> You're ginger? You have no life? What? <laughs> Bread Sheeran. That's great. That's fun. I've said this before, I think. Maybe early on in the stream. But there are two types of people when it comes to embarrassing situations. Like, the best example I can give is, like, let's say you're in school, you're in a quietish cafeteria, or you're taking a test, and you're in a quiet room, and you let it out an involuntary fart. Two kinds of reactions to the situation. People will, you know, stop their test, and they will look at you and be like, what the hell? You can either hang your head, get all red and embarrassed, or you can stand up and take a bow. So embracing those kinds of, uh, kinds of situations, very, very important. Knowing that everybody else gets embarrassed, everybody has stupid situations, everybody's made fun of, embrace it. Have some fun with life. Nobody actually cares. Be the kind of person that stands up and takes a bow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was particularly relevant because you might have been like, hey, I fucking love it. That's great. But maybe not. Usually just give them the finger. Maybe. Or make fun of yourself too. I do that all the time. And I usually don't mean it. If other people mean it, that's great. But if people are legitimately making fun of you for whatever reason, they expect it to make you feel bad. But if you show them that it doesn't make you feel bad then you pretty much won that situation. You have the power right there. You give up the power when you give in to the exact reaction they wanted to get from you. But if you don't give them that reaction, you can be above it and you can be better. I think that's, that's a good way to live. Just, you know, make fun of yourself right back. It's great. You're homeschooled, you don't get the analogy. Yeah, unfortunately, I would... There's, there's a lot of opinions on homeschooling and stuff like that. I would say that, unfortunately, homeschooling, while it can be very good, it loses out on a lot of the social interaction that you get from a public school or a private school environment where there's a lot of people around you. There are certain elements of it that I think are just necessary for life. So I'm, I'm not personally the biggest fan of homeschooling, but I, I get why some people would do it. I also don't think that most people should do it but that's okay it can be good it can be done well but social interaction can be very important and it's very helpful and it's probably the most important skill that we can learn people are bullying you 24 7 well, I guess it just depends on what kind of bullying we're talking about but, I mean, if it's really, really bad, talk to somebody about it. If it's, if it's just, like, teasing here and there. I mean, I, I, I roast my friend all the time. It just depends on the context. But, again, it just really boils down to how you... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, good enough. Depends on how you react to it. I don't know. It all depends on the context as well, like what kind it is, what's going on. Yeah, can't really speak too intelligently on it because I don't know. I don't know your specific situation. Wow, that is powerful. Look at that. We can just barely touch it, I think. 
maybe. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pause real quick. I'll be right back. All right, back. Same boat with homeschooling, but that's which they're on. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people that just think that, well, the public school system is so terrible that I need to get my kid out of that for, you know, for religious or political reasons. Well, I don't want my kid learning this. It's not as simple as that. There's, there's a lot more going on there. And most likely, you're going to disagree with something your kid is taught, and that's okay. But I think just pulling them out of that situation completely is the wrong answer. I don't have kids, so I can't really speak to it too well. But ultimately, I think the answer is just teaching your kid to be tolerant. Teach people tolerance, people understanding, and just, you know, don't... Wow, okay. Don't allow people to see only one side of the story. There are other cultures out there. There are other belief systems out there. And it's okay to believe differently than you believe. But teaching people that there is only one right answer to everything, I think is the wrong way to go about things. Um, yeah, it's, it's not the majority, but it is, it is always the loud minority. Let's see, likable guy, one enemy, try not to bully anyone. So generally, if you don't like a guy, just walk away. Yeah, that's good. Never, <laughs> bullying is not okay. You know, if you have a friend, roasting them is great. You, know, you should be able to take a little bit of take a little bit of shit here and there. You should be able to you know, have laughs with people that you trust. That kind of thing. Prepare your boat. Yes, definitely a good solid advice. It wasn't that dead. All right, we need a place to put stuff. Ooh, serpent trophy. We could put that up there. What a great idea. Yeah. Serpent trophy is the answer. What is the question? I don't know. That looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's huge. That is a big old trophy. I don't know if it looks better, but it's something. <laughs> Most of the types of people from my high school never cross paths with. Yeah, that's for sure. You, <laughs> I've I've seen practically nobody from high school in a very long time. I need shelves. I need storage. So. Let's build some. Let's grab some iron, and we'll build a few good shelves, mostly for our food. That's why we really need a... Well, this is never going to work. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, Alright. Excellent. Lovely. I need fine wood. Fine wood. Good enough for now. Alright. Iron chests going right here, just like we had it over there. So how do we how do you put it in the in the ground? How do we do that? Because one right here and one right here. Maybe three would be good. How do we do that? Watching one guy's monitor run. The episodes are like an hour long each. Yeah. That is a lot of time for sure. Just like a live stream playthrough. It's it is a big time commitment. This is fine. I'll just do this. Missing requirement. Ten fine wood each. Wow. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, the queen. We'll get there, but it's not anytime soon. Having some waffles is usually the correct answer. <laughs> yes. Just need to have anchored such deep trust in your kid that will come out, come to you with something. Yeah. Should put that trophy under the stairs in that opening. Hold the phone. That would be a good spot, but. We'd have to, we will eventually probably dig down here a little bit to meet the bottom piece, the bottom area. I don't know. But that would be a, ooh, right here actually could be good. Let's just, let's just look at what that would look like. Four fine wood. And a bronze nail. Right here. Let's try this. We'll give this spot a shot right here. Adopt you? <laughs> I can barely take care of myself. That is cool. That's a nice spot, I think. That fits nicely. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> nice. And then I threw trophy I put away. Ah. That's pretty good. <laughs> that looks fun. Gotta put some sort of trophy up there, maybe. When that's not too obtrusive. More waffles? No. Oh. How about hitting that thumbs up and showing some love? Yeah! Very intimidating for enemies. And yeah, seriously. Gives your guests like, okay, well... Come up, come up the stairs, but watch out for the teeth. It will snag your clothing. <laughs> Serpents don't have eyes. Serpents do not have eyes. They just have those weird things. Wow. I am just now noticing that. No serpent eyes. It's just those. Those are not really eyes. Those are like the anglerfish things. Interesting. Waffles for president. I would probably be a bad president. I'm too impatient. Okay. Let's build a forge. Ten tin and a forge. We'll need a forge first. Six copper, coal, and stone. Okay, I need to fix this. Can I push just a little bit? Just a little push. Just a little push. I don't think I can. 
I tried that one time and it didn't work. Swim 11. I think that worked. Okay. That did not work. This is dangerous. I think that helped a little. Okay. Very intimidating for enemies. Yep, future guests. If you don't adopt me, I'm going to drink some cocoa. <laughs> is that a bad thing? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Shouldn't be adoption status specific. Just drink for all occasions. Yes. If I had a vote over there, yeah. <laughs> then I'll drink some tea. <laughs> Although I'm not the king of England. Yeah, nor am I. The waffle party. Yeah, seriously. Let's let's screw this U.S. two-party system. It has not worked lately. Really never worked. I feel like I need a little more a little more room right here. Like a like a like a circle, but can't really do it very well with stone right there. Oh well. How do I do this? What am I doing? What 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 do I doing? As a bird might say, what doing? I love birds. Uh how? False identifies that he's not the king of England. <laughs> so many lies. So for those who didn't see it yet, I built this right here. Um, so all of the forging materials will go like up top here. Because that's kind of the way that I had in mind. It's so, like I'll put bunches of boxes, like five in each. So like metals will go up here for forge equipment. And then workbench equipment can go here. Um, maybe. But I could just do iron chests to make it simpler. But it doesn't look as cool. It is a pretty cozy house, isn't it? It is simple, easy, delicious. And I like these stairs right here. Nice little curve. But, yeah, it's more than enough. And then our outdoors is going to be our smelter and our forge and all that stuff. But we do need to make that forge. That's what we were doing. Six copper, four coal, four stone. I don't have any coal out here, do I? So I'll grab this copper. Six copper. This is bad. Not ideal. All right, I'll get a little closer. Not helpful game. Storage, storage. Storage, storage, no! <laughs> Not an ideal dock. We may have to redo the dock. Oh. We may have to completely rehaul, re overhaul the dock. It's, it's actually a bad thing that we made it high like this. I have no idea when I'm going to fight Yag. I haven't even found them yet. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> this is not going well at all. So. I guess we'll do the method. We'll do the method that we patented at the previous spot. Ah! Ah! This is bad. This is really bad. This is not okay. Glitchy! Welcome! This is not... I can't... I can't touch it! Son of a biscuit with gravy. Alright, now I can at least get that chest. Extra steps. Not ideal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I grabbed a protein shake. It's delicious.
Yeah, I'm having troubles. Okay, another chest right here, just for now. All right, let's go get some coal. I like Mr. Sleep Baby too. One of the best foods of all time. I too have a protein shake. Cinnamon flavor. Ooh. I just have the pre-made 30 grams of protein Quest protein shake. Chocolate. They are delicious. Oh, wow. Welcome to the members. Membies. Ooh. Uh, KK2.0. Welcome to the bronze tier. I appreciate you. It means a lot to me. That is... It really does. I appreciate it. My cabbages! Wait, I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. What do I need for Forge? Hello, Forge. Four stone and the six copper. Just give me four stone. That's okay. Don't, uh... The best thing anybody could possibly do for the channel, for me, is to just watch. Watch. That's it. Just watch. Maybe like. Subscribe. That's all I could ever ask of anybody. Any additional support, very helpful, but just watching the videos, just appreciating them, you know, laughing when I'm being stupid. That's all I could ever ask of anybody, and I appreciate you being here. That is, that is okay. Totally okay. Don't feel left out. You're not missing anything. I don't really have anything special for members right now. Um... I might experiment with launching videos early for members, but it's just not something that I've found to be very effective, very efficient. Um, but it's just, it's just fun. That's it. We're just having fun. There's no reason to, there's no reason to feel like you're missing out. Where are the two idiots? Wednesdays and Saturdays episodes will be releasing. Wednesdays and Saturdays. Chains. I know I have chains over here. Yes, I do. Hit the bell icon, share with a friend, buy you a house, destroy the competition. <laughs> I like how the base looks too. Um, I'm thinking this is looking pretty cool. This is this is a build that maybe even Glitchy could be approving of. <laughs> it ain't great, but it's not terrible. That's the answer. And the biggest thing that I really like is this. I think this is efficient. And this... Right there. Okay, that's an upgrade. Uh... So... How about one of these? Four iron, four obsidian... Missing your server. No, not really. Right now, it's stagnant because we've all gotten to the point where it's... Um, we're, we're all just end game tier, so we haven't really done anything. I haven't been on there in a while. I don't think many people have been on there in a while. People are building here and there, but... Yeah, it was a lot of fun. But, yeah, that's, that's, really, that's really it. There's no additional content. There's nothing really to miss. Maybe if I make an OnlyFans for my feet or something, I'll put it for members only. <laughs> that serpent jumped right into the boat. That's the truth. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> we are on one and a half idiot and some enthusiast. Currently, okay. <laughs> 
the long hunt for the island was well worth it in the end. I think so. This is a perfect island. We have expanded it a little bit, uh, more than a little bit actually, but it's looking pretty great. It is nice. It can become anything that we want it to be. Probably make this little tree farm over here or an actual, actual farm. Um, but we've got one of these over here. We've got our nice forge area. It's going to be over here. Probably expand this a little bit to include the forges. We've got the regular forge, the workbench, and the black forge will be eventually over on this side. But for now, we'll save the space and just, you know, put the glass furnace and stuff over here. I don't know. But I have these up here so I can get up here to add chests maybe. But I might do other chests. I don't know. I need storage. That's what I need to focus on. So do I do I make a bunch of iron chests? Or do I just go with regular chests? I think regular chests are fine. Let's do this. Because it's necessary. Okay. That looks better. And now let's build some shelves, I guess. Okay. Friend just got back into Valheim. Yeah, I want mine as well. <laughs> but at least I have Glitchy and all of you. Multiple idiots watch one idiot play Valheim. <laughs> That's pretty much, yeah. A YouTuber would make me feel better and believe that things are going to be good. Hey, it's true, though. I'm glad that I can contribute to your day in a positive way. That is more than I could have ever asked for. That's fantastic. Glad you're having fun here. Because I'm sure having fun here. We need to go back farther. Okay. Uh, no, I liked that one there. If he doesn't even want to play Valheim again, that's great. It's a great game, especially with new Ashlands content coming out soon. It's a great time to get back into it. Got to focus on getting the alignment proper. One more, right back there. Nice. All right. I think I can lower this a little bit. By doing this. Yep, just like that. Oh boy, corner snapping, corner snapping, corner snapping. Will this impede? No, it will not. All right, we're good. That's that's a line of chests right there. This is no ordinary YouTuber. This is the Mr. Waffles of the early list viewer. <laughs> that's great. I'm gonna sleep. If I were to make it a second channel or something like that, I'd have to call it something waffle themed. Fueling tower in the distance. There's one. I didn't see one. Where's the fueling tower? No, the sealed tower over there, maybe. I thought you maybe were saying that you saw one in the distance. 
oh, maybe you're thinking of something else. Or saying something else. And I'm thinking of the only... The tower. Could get some chickens. Chickens could be good. Would be very, very good, actually. You kind of want to play Valheim now. <laughs> Usually a bit with mods. I like vanilla. I think vanilla is the way to go. But certain mods can be very nice to play with. Really? This is the one not so great thing about being out here in the ocean. <laughs> Just lovely. Hotcakes. Delicious. What do I think of Britney Spears? I have no opinion on Britney Spears. I am not at all well versed in that world to make a legitimate conversation. Free fish. All right, let's put up, uh, get the forge up. So now we should be able to put our, oh, we haven't grabbed the tin yet. Loudable waffles, paragon only playthroughs. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Ooh, we don't have much tin. No, we, no, we don't have much. Never mind. that's silver. This is tin. Come on. Come on. We definitely have to remake the dock. This is not working. It's just too high. It looks good, but we need to make it at the level of the water, like I was originally planning. Whoever gave me the idea to raise it up, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> I'm not legitimately mad. It's great. We just have to iterate. We learned. It don't matter. It don't matter that much. All right, here we go. Right in the middle. No, I need to put this up first. Three iron and three chain. I still have my chain. So let's do three iron. This is important for the serpent stew. Stew to you too. Ooh, before we do that, what we really need Let's think even farther ahead. We got that up. We need... This. Okay, let's go grab the stuff to make this. We gotta put that up. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Only two fish. This is cat light. Guys like me some more. <laughs> All right, two carrots, three dandelions. Three dandelions. Two, no. Two carrots. Five mushrooms, three thistle, three turnips. Three. Five. Three thistle. Fabulous. It's nice to have purpose in life. It's also nice to have porpoise in life. <laughs> you gotta think ahead. So, I really don't want this to be on fire right now. That's okay. So, we're gonna have to put one of these up in there. I'm gonna do it like this. We're on fire. No, we don't need this. Mm. Okay. It won't go. It won't go because of this. So move that. That's how you do it, by the way. This is fine right there, right? That's kind of the spot for the pots and pans, but we can... Should we raise this? We can raise this. No, we really can't, can we? Can we just do that? That's fine. And then this can go here. And then this 
can go here. No, we cannot. Why? 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 Those pieces right there. So how about... Oh, I can't see anything. Imagine that. Right there. I had to hold shift to put it there. And it still won't go. I'm not in the way. Something's up. All right. Suggestions? I put it over here. It won't go there. It'll go here, though. Okay, fine. Now, pots and pans. Nope, next is... This. And then we can move this and put it over here. Right in the center. Hell yeah. We'll add some of these. One and two. And then one and two. Nice. It's a little far forward, which is good because I don't want to have to walk all the way over there and light myself on fire to touch it every time, which I've had an issue with before. All right, well, let's just make this, make this fish one each. I thought it was two each. All right, fine. Fish. I mean, there's no reason for me not to cook them. Okay, well, we got this going, which is nice. And then, I don't know, something over here. Maybe more storage that goes vertical. We'll, we'll do, like, more storage up top. We'll do at least one more layer. That pet fish kind of has a bad... Yeah, it's... <laughs> Oh, always cooking just a little bit. He needs a vertical surface. Repair the hearth, by the way. Genius idea. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's why they pay you the big bucks. Just let him cook. Let Jim cook. I like that. <laughs> Without the correction. So the brewery. Probably going to be right here. It's a good spot, actually. Let's do that real quick. Bye, bronze. So, 10 bronze. Did I not grab it? That's not bronze, idiot. Wait, you pay me? <laughs> yes? You haven't been receiving the checks? Come on. Dad... I can't. Ah. What a jerk. Come on, game. Devs. Not what I needed. All right. We'll back up a little. Beep. 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 And then we'll go forward a little. See now our front is moving out like that. Why are you do why you do this? Why? Alright, alright, alright. And then let's go backwards. I'll just back it up like this. Yeah, I, I got that. I just don't like it. <laughs> All right, much better. All right, all that's up there now. So let's, what were we doing again? Fermenters, five bronze, so 10 bronze. And then 60 fine wood, holy, holy lord, that's a lot of fine wood. 
50 and 10. Why? Why is this like this? Just take from one stack, game. Resin. I need resin. I have resin. All right, let's do this. Put these both up right here. And let's... We're doing this. Six. Nope, we don't want six. We want eight. And we're just going to place two of these down so that we can easily have spot for thing. Renters. Good spot for it. Uh, should we curve them inward like this? Or should we just... Yeah, center like that. Good enough. Too exposed! False! Great. Let me read the chat. <laughs> I think forklift was your attraction. Yeah. I actually used to be forklift certified. In multiple different varieties. This should be fine. Oh, now it's working, but too exposed. All right, kill that one. Can I move it right there? Too exposed. All right, bad spot. Or what if we do one on one side and one on the other side? Both need a gangplank feature so far. Yeah, that would be nice. That'd be really nice. Darkwood separator. So... So it's now working. It's working now. Why? Because I moved it back just slightly? Whatever. Thanks, game. <laughs> Man, 53 people here right now. That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm thankful that you guys are here. I need to do this, I think. That looks good. And then I think I also need to do this. I had no stone. Uh, this. Necessary. Is it necessary? It's not necessary. It wasn't, was it? No, this just actually went there normally. That's fine. This needs one of these. There. Since this side is also stone, we should stone that one too. That makes sense. This looks good. That looks really good. No processable items, no processable items. You're working. Awesome. Should I... I should probably also do this side too. So let's kill this. We'll do one and two. And I guess one below. No, we can just raise the ground right there a little. Which... We'll do like this. And then eight stairs. And let's raise the ground a little bit. Okay. We need a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Boom. That's it. That looks good. That looks really good. All right. Every staircase must get stoned. We'll do this. Symmetry. I think that looks nice. So then now, actually, we'll put this back up. Because we had it there, and we kind of need it there, but we don't need it there, but we also need it there. And you work. That's really nice. Uh... Wow, okay. 57 people here now. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's awesome. Thanks for being here. 
yeah, Darkwood maybe, because um, we're doing the theme right here as well. well. We'll get there. But for now, we're going to keep it with the theme of this dock. Not dock, but, you know, staircase. I think it looks fine. For now. We will get there. Now what? Wooden trim improves everything. Except, yeah. Uh, not so great against fire. Dark wood beams would be good. Tar is a premium. Yeah, we'll get there. But not today. How do we finish this? What were we working on? We were working on things. And maybe some stuff. We're going to need some upgrades down below. So, I guess maybe down below will have to be... Yeah, okay. Let's just put this stuff away. Good enough. Good enough. Put that in the appropriate spot. And let's build some more... Shelves. We need more wood. Okay, how do I do this? Right there. Mm -hmm. That will fit. No, it will not. Okay, first one is going to be this one right here. This spot. And then one right here. And then one right here. Exactly even, please. Thank you. And that. That. Oh, I'm out of wood. That's it. That's all I got. I can't finish this. No. Although. I could just kill this. In favor of this. Okay. General shelving done. Okay. Let's read. Uh, Fenris Armor would be really good against the Aglyph, but probably not in very hard difficulty because I want to be able to tank hits. Although, Fire Resistance would be nice and being speedy is very nice. But on this playthrough, it's very hard combat difficulty. So, full armor. Kind of a necessity. Because I need to be able to take a couple hits. And I don't think Fenris would be able to. I don't really know for sure. Yeah, I gotta do this real quick. I don't have enough wood, though. Never mind. Uh, yeah, fire wine is enough for fire resistance. Yeah, that's for sure. It's good enough. It's still very dangerous. You gotta go to sleep. Hey, thanks for stopping by, you know. I'll see you next time. I'm gonna try to remember to name a wolf after you. In, uh, Two Idiots. I think that's gonna be a good idea. Not the best option... Even if you balance the fire issue with barley wine, you still can't get resistance. Yeah. Counter the vulnerability at the very least. Isn't one of the lower chests a little... Oh, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, this one's a little bit far forward. But not by much. So we'll fix that. I don't think the lower ones are, though. Now the lower ones seem fine. Perfection is not required, but really close to it is a good achievement. <laughs> that looks pretty good. And I think we'll put more chests right here. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put rocks right here. Got extra stuff right here. I'm going to have to figure out some sort of sorting method. This is going to be foodstuffs. And I don't have enough wood. So let's, for now, I guess we could cook the serpent meat. Uh, let's get this going. Like that, that. Oh no. Uh, 
that's fine. It clips in a little bit, but it's okay. Foodstuffs. I don't know what to put over here. Let's not turn this into an OCD stream. <laughs> Rightmost one. No, well, maybe a little bit, but barely. And that's a difficult one to move. Serpent stew. How do I make it? Honey and mushrooms. Nice. Where's our bees going to go? Probably like... I don't know, somewhere over here. Corner of the house, actually. Up right here, maybe. Or we could put them on the side. Yeah, yeah, for someone who said they don't have much patience, those chests are nicely aligned. I guess, what is more prevalent in my head? Is it OCD? Is it getting things perfect like that? Or is it impatience? When it comes to farming, it's impatience. When it comes to lining up boxes that will be there forever, ideally, I want them to be properly get, properly done. Next to the crops. Yeah, that's right. They should be next to the crops. Artisan table is outside. Yeah. Okay. For now, we'll put that there. Scales. How do I make this? Scale shield. I should go to sleep. Serpent scale shield. Four iron? That's it? We can make it. We're going to make it. And we're going to make it after I sleep. Because I want to be able to see it. Yeah, the artisan table is right outside. It's a nice spot for it, too. It looks really good. Storage barn on the Waffle Iron server is always a good goal. This is true. This is true. It's only me, so I may not need that much storage. But also, I do have a downstairs. So this could be for, like, bulk items. And we could still do the downstairs for, like, even more storage. And then maybe portals should be up top, up here. Maybe. We don't have a spot for portals just yet. That's a fine spot right there. But I don't know. But as you know, I am very indecisive when it comes to pretty much everything. All right, let's take a look. 60 block armor. 72 block armor. Yeah, it's not a worthy upgrade. But we may make it. In fact, we we'll probably will make it. But it will not be today. Maybe it will be. I don't know. We're not decorating just yet. But this right here would be a good spot for it. Right there. And then the crom maybe right there. I don't know. Another trophy up top there. Or another trophy right there. And right there. That place is a masterpiece. It really is. Ooh, I'm getting a call. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I had to do stuff. Sometimes I'm waiting for calls and stuff. Like, I might be working sometime this week. I might not. Who knows? I don't know. Nobody knows. But I have to provide a little more documentation for a job that I recently had. This can be consolidated. Where should we put things? I feel like I should build just a little bit of storage over here. Uh, I guess I can read the chat. <laughs> Serpent scale shield kind of... Yeah, it is really good. But it's not necessarily... It's not technically better than my silver shield. Unless maybe I upgrade it. But I don't know. It's really cool, though. Stairs down in that corner. Not this... In this corner could be good. Like we have up right there, so down right here. Where would this portal go? Where could the portal go? Well, for now, for now, we'll put it up here. So this... We'll just do the opposite of what we have over there. Where this goes right here. This goes right here. And this would go down here. Now, obviously, we still need to dig down. Actually, why don't we do a little bit of that right now? That's why. I was going to read the chat. I immediately forgot. Oh, this is in the way now. Oh, no. Maybe this won't work. Uh-oh. Yeah. So this is not going to happen just like this. But that would look so good. And I can't bring it over here. Move the outside. Yeah. Wait. Move the outside stairs or move the stairs outside? Like, I could I put the stairs down here. That is a plan as well. But there should be an entrance inside. What if to the downstairs we don't do it up full stairs? We do the we do the hoppy hops. No. That's fine. And now we have well now we have enough space right there. Storage barn is amazing, yeah, that's for sure. Bone shield. Serpent on the left. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think weapons are more fun, but the serpent scale shield does look really nice. Collaborative building was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the server. It shall return. If we're keeping the same theme. Wood, but we may put shelves over here too. Let's put these over where they're supposed to go. It is a village, it really is. Will I fit if I do this? I don't know if I will. Oh yeah. Fit just well. No. The answer is no, I will not. Okay, so what if I do this? This. That still doesn't work. Okay. 
180 instead of 90? Huh? So I could remove this and do this, 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 and then that. But then we still have a big old hole here. Yeah, I mean, I could move the stone stairs a little bit, but it looks so good like this. We could just not do this. So like that. That's fine. But then this down here will have to be the entrance. Which was kind of the plan all along. So we'll move this. And this. And that. And then, this is the downstairs entrance. Then how do we... How do we do this? Because so that needs to be, like, pillars to stand up. And what level do we put it on? And do we need the pillars? I don't know things, and I don't know stuff. But that will have to be it. Technical difficulties. Oh, your Norse physique is too much for the mere one meter opening. Yeah. Move the stone stairs. Yeah. Maybe stop with the Eichthyr. Sneak tro- What? Stop. Maybe swap the Ikethyr and Sneak Trophy? S oh, Snake? Maybe. I thought about... Yeah, the, uh, the, the Serpent Trophy looked really weird up there. It was too huge. So maybe this is not the right spot for this trophy. Motor would be a good trophy here. Just the right spot. And then... Those don't need to be there, no matter what. And so the bottom is not falling out, which means that we should be okay to remove these. And these will still stay. Clearly. Okay. We have a lower decker. And so we can go up a little. But I don't think we should. I think this should be the level right here. This is the level. So you have a little bit of space. Alright, back to six. We don't want too much. have to do this very carefully. We'll probably have to reinforce with more stone. We want to do this without breaking things. 
especially that. That's pretty good. We're doing good. Alright. We're gonna need more stone. Uh, brave the jaws of the serpent and you will gain access to the crypts below. <laughs> Rafters under the floor directly. Rafters? We're fine. Green. We'll just put more stone under here, which we can actually do right now. And these are pointless. I'm not worried about that raid because it don't matter at all. Let's just let's just get this back. Let's get this back. Unnecessary. This is going to be good. Am I distracting myself with waffles because today's Valheim goal is to kill bone mass? <laughs> Water OCD is kicking in. Yeah, I can't really help that. That's just a part of part of the problem. Unavoidable issue here. Cons of island bases for sure. Procrastinator move. <laughs> Wonder when the island base was going to get raided. Yeah, it's it's been raided. And unfortunately, a couple times. Fortunately, we cannot get this raid. Because the moment a Sertling decides to spawn, like it might spawn over here. On this little island that we've got. But we have a fireplace over there. We have a, a campfire, so it won't spawn over there. But even if it did, the water will kill it instantly if it tries to escape. Not the supporting pillar. Now nah, we're good. We good. Now we have a little more wood. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. All right. So... Piece. Probably this over here. Gonna need to reinforce everything. Probably just gonna need to go down to this level right here with all of those. I think we're okay. So if we do too much, it'll look weird from the outside, too. Like, this this side is covered. But this side could look really weird if we remove it too much. So we can just put walls up. Oh! A level 3 perch? <laughs> awesome. Thanks. We can now replace our level 2 perch with a level 3. Look at that! Fantastic. That's not that much bigger. But I guess we'll eat this one. Four. Emotional support pillar. <laughs> I can do some emotional support for you. Yeah, that's a nice mantelpiece right there. The perch looks nice. It's a nice looking fish. We are almost out of food. We have to go get some. And we might as well bring it all the way over here. Cool. 
Okay, let's get some space. No! Grab it. Put it where it's supposed to go. Thank you. Alright, game. Put this wood away where it's supposed to go. This is the wood box. At least it is for now. Uh, tiny amount of organization. No! I pushed the T button. I modded my... I, I changed the key to T because Z was annoying. Uh... Certainly stuff. Rocks. Sure. Sure. Whatever. Perfection is not required. Good enough for now. I will be right back. Okay. Uh, worst case, you could put stone floor around the house to cover if the cellar leaks. Yeah, I, I will probably put a stone floor down there. We don't have that much stone left. We have enough, probably. Yeah, stone floor would look good. Do we put it at this level? No, we want it lower. Like, right here. No, we would want it right here. This level. How about... How about... Top? No. Yeah, that's the level we'd want it at. So we'd have to remove it even more. Grant resistance to psychic damage. <laughs> So easy to fat finger, that's for sure. Yeah. P makes sense. Nothing is P, right? He does nothing. That's a good idea, but it, it would take uh, an additional hand. It makes sense, because it's out of the way, but T guy can at least mostly not fat finger. It's kind of rare. It gets out of the way, but R sometimes will get it. I keep forgetting that this stuff is out here. Yeah, but that would... It, yeah, P would be good, but it would take... Um, this is better. Yeah. It would take my hand off. That's what I mean. Do I bring it down just a little lower so that I can add Y for yippee time? I did T for turbo. That's, I, that's where my mind was. Excel to the far right of the keyboard, yeah. Yeah, just tow it a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's my fast travel downstairs. <laughs> okay, that's the spot right there. We'll do a little bit of a tap. Just a little tap. More than a little tap, apparently. That'll have to do. Lovely. Progress. Okay. Take 
take so much stone. Alright, that is... That is the way it's happening. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna run out of stone before I finish this, that's for sure. Little Taparuski. All right, here we go. Uh, okay. Um, one more here, and let's see. As let's do as much as we can. Huh? Let's do as much as we can. I prop. Ooh, that's it. That's all we got. Wow, that took a hundred percent of it. Almost, almost enough. That's good. Okay, we don't have any more stone, but we can actually. There's no portal there. We move the portal. This can be the backup portal in the future. The location for it, maybe. But we're gonna bring it back down to there because I like it being on the ground floor. Let's bring some food over. Why for yippee time? <laughs> this is the way. Man, it's already almost been three hours. We're getting, we're getting near it. This went so quick. Ridiculous. Rocks. Well, this is going to take a lot of trips. I could bring the portal closer. Cubby opposite the portal. Cartography table. That's right. So up there probably will be that. It's a good idea. Rocks here. Cartography table. Up here actually would be a good spot. Or right here. Yeah, definitely a good idea. I don't really need a cartography table, though. There's no... Mm, well, there might be multiple people coming in. Here and there. So, not a bad idea. Doesn't hurt to have one. If I could actually find it. Well, I guess it doesn't exist. There it is. Ooh, wow. That's a recipe. That's a good spot, I think. All right there, quite out of the way. Uh, we have more wood, and by wood I mean stone. So let's keep going. This is just for the walls. but also for structure. Very necessary. That'll be fine, right? Everything's fine, and all is well. Okay. We could probably do one more this way and then go up, so we don't encroach onto that space. And then... Yeah! I'll probably get rid of this. The appropriate method. Come on. All right. I 
think this. Yeah. Uh, stone or wood build? I always prefer wood builds because I think it looks really nice. This is going to annoy me. Also, stone can just be so finicky. But I'm learning. I am getting better. <laughs> okay, we're almost done here. Missing. All right. This is definitely a great little downstairs area. It would be nice to have a good little stair going down, but we don't need it. It's fine. This will work just okay. Not sure if picking your own wall is the appropriate method. Yeah. Unfortunate how little stone build pieces you have. Black marble kind of remedies that, but it's hard to mix it too. Yeah, I haven't done any building in black marble yet. So I'm not sure. Waffle, waff, wait, water vader, yeah, that's for sure, water, what kind of like a water elevator. Free wood, grab all these, kill, not like that. Kill that, I well, might as well kill that. No room, alright, I guess we'll be back for you. Good morning. Hello. Waffle Vader. Best way to mix them is to pick... Uh, pick one for the main structure. Use the other as highlights or just detailing. Kind of like how I did with this. Because we got stone highlighting and detailing the wood. That's a good way to go. It's a good way to live. This... Is this. Perfect. Lovely. Back we go. Actually in the middle of planning a build using both in large amounts. But it's proving challenging. <laughs> yep, you do have a lot to catch up on. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. What? Oh, we have a lot of wood. I mean, we might as well carry more, right? Oop, I shouldn't have done that. There was still stuff in there. Idiot. Yeah, we're kind of moving things over to the other base. Jack Septicai, what? Shenanigans, hello. We have even more wood. We need a wood storage spot. So for now, we'll just double up. So, like, regular wood. And then special woods over here, probably. Maybe core wood, too. Alright. Cores should go here. We have a lot of cores. This, 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 this. Uh, carpets. Miscellaneous metal things, sure. And I guess that. Good enough for now. Fenris hair. Sure, for now. Let's get some more food. Do I like eating waffles? Absolutely I do. I have a nice waffle maker. And I have protein waffle slash pancake mix. And I make them often... They're one of my favorite foods. Uh 
Okay, we're moving. And we're grooving. A bit early in the day for auto consumption talk. Four sheets of the wind for that kind of I, I, what, auto consumption? Pores and eyes. That's what we definitely should put over here. And then a separate spot for all of our resin. We don't need a whole separate spot. Uh, seeds. So those two probably can be for trophies. That's how I kind of do it. Seeds can be right next to them. And then miscellaneous metal bits. Right that. Organization, I hardly know her. <laughs> Favorite waffle topping? Just butter and syrup, really. I keep it simple. I, I just love that flavor blast. Moving on. Like six hours ago. Currently drying out. You ever make your own waffle batter? I... Are we talking like the food? <laughs> if we're talking the food, I really haven't made any from scratch. I should though. Go with seeds. You need to go in your own separate spot, as well as you and you. Rocky things can go in this woody things. We got seeds right here. And then like I don't know. We'll build more right there. Let's do one two and three. And then... Just like that. And then... Fabulous. More storage. I can kill that, since we didn't do it on that side. But we probably should, actually. Okay, let's read the chat. Uh, you have a loaded question? Oh, talk about a loaded question. Wait. Waffle topping? I can make my own waffle batter. Yeah. <laughs> Typing is hard, that's for sure. Apparently your fingers are still drunk. <laughs> Free placing. That's how you stack your chest. Hey, thanks. I think I've got pretty good. Pretty even. Pretty clean. I remember seeing your crazy <laughs> chests. Fantastic. Very, very even as well. That glimpse too. I remember that giant wall. Waffles waffling while <laughs> wailing waffles. <laughs> Not the hammer. If I needed to come up with a channel name, pancakes. Your breakfast guilty pleasure. Just have your own batter mix recipe memorized. Ooh, yeah. Pancakes are good, but they are nothing compared to waffles. <laughs> they are good, though. Uh, what should I put over here? This is food. What should go right here? I don't know. Don't know. This is wood. This is rocks. We got pelts and stuff. Like higher tier woods. I guess I'll put this here. Metal things and then scales, I guess. But also great ore flies. 
Rogue. I guess I could probably just place these down, right? Boop. And boop. That's good. Although I probably should put some in the middle, too. Another one. There we go. Good enough. If the less is food or the right is food ingredients? No, so if ready to go food is going to be right here. Food ingredients right here and here. Kind of like how I have over here. Which actually I need to go over there and grab it and at least get more food to eat. The rug, rugs do look nice. Just woke up. Stream's still on. <laughs> I'm not going to go for too much longer, but nah, we'll see. So right here I have ready to go foods and potions. This side I have like vegetable ingredients and this side I have other kinds of ingredients like meat and stuff. So I need to grab food to eat. Oh, I need to make more bread. Fish wraps. Yes. Okay. You and you can go away. I don't need you there. And I guess you don't need... Oh, I hate that so much. Gotta have a crafting station to move anything. And now that's just in the middle. Why? Why am I, why am I like this? Why am I like this? I have wood. Leave you there so we can break things. <laughs> No school is good. Two eggs, 100 grams of flour, 300 millimeters milk, touch of salt, quick glug of sunflower oil. I like olive oil. But I also, if I'm gonna make pancakes or waffles, they have to be high protein. That's just the way I live. So I'd need to get like a scoop of protein powder in place of some of the uh, waffle, like the flour or something like that. Sure. Okay, coal can go here for now. Back through, and we'll grab all of the food items. Secret is to mix the egg, salt, and flour thoroughly first, then add the milk a little at a time, whisking like a maniac. Interesting. I should move the bees too, shouldn't I? Please, good. Welcome. Good evening. Boot time. Ah, oh, two. All right, whatever. Let's bring all the food over. Do I listen to the Beatles? Not really. I, it's not something that I just I their, their music is good it's fine it's not something that I just do I just don't no particular reason not really the biggest music guy I like music but mainly I listen to um, if I'm gonna listen to music it's mainly like mellow stuff like I like Mumford and Sons um, of Monsters and Men that's that's my kind of jam. But I also, if I'm going to go to the gym, I, I really enjoy, I don't know, like hardcore metal. I, I have a lot of variety in my musical taste. Okay. Definitely need to make more fish wraps, which I can probably do right now. Base is looking good, thanks. Protein powder can sub for flour 3 to 2 ratio, but only about one fifth of the total. I don't have that gluten consistency right. Yeah, I, I have not experimented with my own recipe just yet, but there are recipes out there. But I found online a super cheap. Um, oh, I'm not going to be able to get that box. 
uh, Kodiak Cakes. They make a really good pre-made blend that I really enjoy. And it's just, it's simple. So I found it for cheap. I bought a bunch and I've been using that, going through that. But I have been planning on doing my own recipe. Or at least following somebody else's recipe like that. Now I need another box up here. Probably a big box. Two iron, ten fine wood. For now we'll put this in here. Ten fine wood. Two iron. Big old box up top. Right in the center. Or should I... I can't really, can I? Not really. Because if I do that, I could do this. But not really. But I could do this. And just get it ready. But then we don't need that much foodstuffs, do we? Ah, whatever. We'll, we'll get ready for it. Big ol', big ol' uh, <laughs> thing over here. Okay, let's sleep. Do I know? I, I don't know what that is. First aid kit and death south for country slash folk vibe. First aid kit, dead south. Uh, remind me, I'm gonna forget. I don't know that. Finish, no. Knuckle Creek. Um, one band that I've been really enjoying lately is something that I discovered randomly. I just saw an Instagram ad and I enjoyed it. Um, which is weird because, you know, usually Instagram ads are terrible. But I saw an Instagram ad for Kingfisher. Uh, no E at the end. K-I-N-G-F-I-S-H-R. I've been really enjoying that band lately. It's been a lot of a lot of enjoyment out of that one. They don't have much out, but they have enough to really appreciate, you know? I like it. I don't know that band either. Again, I'm not that big into music. I'm more of a podcast guy. I like a good podcast. <clears throat> Uh, audiobooks as well. I need to do this. This needs to happen. Better. <laughs> Alright, let's bring more stuff over, I guess. If I'm in the gym, I'll, I'll usually still listen to podcasts. <laughs> that's just, I don't know, that's just the way I am. I like, I like, I enjoy it. But sometimes I'll listen to music, and if I'm in the gym, it just depends on the mood, but usually I'll listen to something a little more hard. Hmm. Fishing stuff can probably go outside over there, but I guess we'll bring this over. Kill this. We have enough room for a little bit, but not much. This. 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 That's it. Radio company. I'll have to look that up too. Fishing stuff. Uh, should a box be out here for fishing stuff? On the dock, maybe? Because we could fish on the dock, and that sounds nice, but I don't think it's necessary. We'll put the fishing stuff up here. Put that away, put that away, put this away, put this away. Iron nails, yeah. Okay, key items. Key items. I'm gonna vote. Ooh, where should this go? Fishing. Key items. Sure. Prodigy. Ah, uh, man. 
metal kick lately. You need to you need to send me these bands. I'll I'll look them up. I'll make a little playlist. Oh hi. I'm just distracted right now. <laughs> I'm distracted by the chat. Uh, yeah, definitely send me those in like a uh, a message. And I'll remember to look those up. Those are annoying. And I recommend first fragment master. Yeah, just if you could send me a discord, send me a message or put it at somewhere. Just remind me because I'm going to forget. I'm simply going to forget. But I would like to look some of those up. Or all of them, you know. All right, let's get more stuff. Ready? More stuff. Got that food. Let's get these ingredients, I guess. This is gonna take forever. No music sharing. That's that's fine. But like, send, just send me the names. Yeah, general. General's fine. 2k, yeah, a whole new room for it, seriously. The house is definitely very empty at this point. Oh. This can go up here. You berries. What a waste. Okay, back in. Back through we go. We're just chilling and transferring. This is literally the flow of pigs. Not a bad idea. Uh, this is the moving episode for sure. Okay, okay. Just enough. And I guess we'll grab thistle. And I know we have thistle here too. can reorganize that later. Back in we go. I could probably put a lot of stuff away. The storage house. Yeah, I, I don't think it's necessary. It would be helpful, though. But I think we're okay. I could just remove some of this stuff. I don't need to have all this stuff with me. Transfer everything. That's it. Deer up top, boar as well. This, uh, I feel like necktails should go here too. Blood bags, that stuff. We don't really need ooze in there. Ooze can go over here. It's more of an ingredient for this stuff, I think. Difficult to not be a hoarder. Yeah. Guild House does look a little sad, that's for sure. Maybe we do fully demolish it or make it just into a shack. A love shack. <laughs> I wish I could have moved those because then I have three metal chests over here. So that's six, six iron that'll just be wasted. Unless I bring it over again. Or I could just spawn six iron. The problem is, no matter how much you accrue, you always end up needing more. That is for sure. No doubt about that. Meats. 
not meats. That kind of meats. This can go over here, and so can those. Those are, more in those are also ingredients. They're kind of meats. <laughs> okay, back we go. Moving is definitely annoying. Very, very annoying. But all right, get that out of here. We just have three of those. No. No. Sometimes R doesn't work properly because I'm too quick with my buttons. And all this stuff as well. So, old weapons. Necessary, I think. Six hours hunting stone golems for crystals and only find two. Ah. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put this away. I'm going to kill it. Ooh, I just killed 11 drops. Whatever. I'm going to go through here. We're not going to do a full... Uh, we're not going to do a full boating mission just for six iron. So... Uh... Iron bar? Okay, six iron. And then we're killing we're killing duck commands. There we go. My screen just glitched. <laughs> Look behind you! Two headed monkey. Uh <laughs> Alright. Where do we put stuffs? We don't really need to keep the bronze act here. Or the fine wood bow. We really don't. But they could be handy for other people. So, old items. Um, yeah, sure. Old weapons. And old armor. So Glitcher jumps back on. He can use the abyssal razor if he wants. Yeah, maybe I will, but not just yet. It's a good idea. We will get there. All this stuff. No. All of it. No room in inventory. <laughs> good. And this stuff... I don't know where. It's like I had a separate spot for items that I was actively using. It's like I was going into the mountains, I was going into the plains, I was getting a lot of those. So I was putting them somewhere easy. So I guess down here would make sense. Now, maybe this isn't the right method. Since we have all this storage over here. All right. This is tar. So if I put, like, those kinds of ingredients there. Sure. I just don't know what to do. I don't know. Fine. All right. Really quick. I'm going to make another box. And we're going to put it just right here. I'm going to leave a bunch of stuff. I don't need all this stuff with me. Okay. So I have a lot more room now. Poor cat, yeah, maybe a little bit. Alright, now I have more room in my inventory. I can grab more things. Ooh, archery area would be a good idea.
Removes weapons, raid event, yeah. That's why I didn't remove everything. I have my Accur at least. For such high strung creatures, they seem to have no issues going to sleep. Yeah, I wish I could sleep immediately. That would be really nice. Okay, trophies here, trophies here. You've got seeds there, and then gold items there. That's a good spot for it. Archery next to this. I think that makes sense. Then we got key items. We've got good. Obliterator. Let's make the obliterator real quick. Even though I hardly know a raider. It's a lot. That's expensive. Thunderstone. Kill it for now. We'll put it in key items. Chitin. Fine. We don't need this much leather scrap. We'll probably just obliterate it. You see arrows, yes. Turn technically, you see arrows. Permanent malice and paranoia. <laughs> what? Yeah, true, 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 true. Very great. Very, very, uh, very, yeah. Do raids happen? Yes, they can, but not really. We get the bat raid, which we have. Uh, we got the certling raid twice this stream, but nothing spawned. And if they did spawn, they died immediately. To a, to a horrible death of water for them. Not a good day. Yeah. Alright, I want the obliterator. Four copper. Eight iron. Four copper. Eight iron. Obliterator. Right here, sure. Mm. Mm. I don't know. For now, this is the spot. Probably move it later. Well, let's kill the scrap. I have enough scrap. Look at all this scrap. That's more than enough. Two full stacks. Bat raids are very annoying. Ooh, I have this stuff. That's right. Uh, ooze bombs and a sharpening stone. Why do I have an extra sharpening stone for the upgrade? So I still need to add upgrades to this. Level two. Do need that. And another one of those. I need the forge improvements. So many pots and pans. Five, five, five. I have it over here. Yes. Five. Five. Copper. Five. And then 10 black metal. No, 10 fine wood. That's what I mean. Okay. Pots and pans. Uh, I don't want to put it out here. My base is surrounded by active ballistas. I haven't messed with ballistas much. Okay, fine. I'll move this. Lots of pans. I feel like they should be able to go here. Why? 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 This isn't in the way. Is it? 
it's not. Okay. So this is a problem. And I don't like it. Here? It goes nowhere. It doesn't go anywhere. Pots and pans. <sighs> I like the pots and pans though. I'm gonna have to do under under the stairs, I guess. Under the floor. I would prefer them be inside. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. That looks so stupid. But we need it. This is something we need. So let's grab some stone. We have no stone. Lovely. I hate it. I hate everything. They aren't worth the resources? What aren't? Ballista? Oh. Death Skeeters. Yeah. Placing a piece of wood on the chimney... piece of wood, you think. Like that. And then this. No. Unless we do this. I have the wood. There it is. That. Lots of pans. No. I still don't want to go. Have wood, come on. It does not fit. I held shift, and it still doesn't want to go. Pots and pans should be able to sit on any wall. Close enough to the cauldron. Well, this is definitely... Cauldron here for now. So we can get in here. Why? 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 Because the cauldron was so far away. Well, now this doesn't go in there. Oh, shenanigans. <laughs> Fine. We'll redo the whole thing. Will you go now? No, because the pots and pans are in the way. Okay. We'll grab the stuff. We put the stuff down. As far back as we can. Pots and pans have to go after... The cauldron, which has to be really close. And then this can't go up there because that's in the way now. So. This has to be moved. To like over a little bit maybe. So it's not perfectly even. But it still fits. Then the pots and pans don't go in there. It's still... Okay. I hate it. I hate everything. <sighs> Try the lip below the roof piece. I don't know what that means. Oh, this. 
Yeah, I mean, they'll go. It's, it works great, but... This needs to be placed first. As, as far right as possible. Oh, okay, we got it in there. Nice. Well, that wasn't annoying at all. <laughs> oh, lovely. Just lovely. I almost rage quit. No, I didn't. I'm fine. Everything's fine. All is well. Okay. Well, let's get the... Put your table in. Two silver. Four, four, and two. I stirred the cauldron. Lovely. Just what we needed. More leather scrap. Good night. That raid is just so annoying. Thanks. Thanks, Wave. Fine. Yeah, seriously. Stop stirring the batter. Oh, you're not going to help, Seagull? Wow. That reach. This is just such a long raid, too. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. Ah, my toes. Makes me think crowd control. Yeah. Cauldron comms. One last for the frost waffle. Excellent. All right, well, more fuel for the obliterator. Okay, let's pop this down here, because where else will it go? Not up there, that's for sure. Need a little spot for it, though. Uh. Yeah, they don't help with anything. Yeah, they destroyed my pig farm, too, if I remember right. Or was it the, that was the oozes or something. So I could I could place this down up here, but it would look dumb. It would look much better below us. And by look better, I mean just you know, dig under that fire. Yeah, I, I think you're trying to troll me. Maybe a little bit more. But it has to be closer than it is.
Excellent. Need a bit more fish wraps. All right, what are we going to do here? Maybe a little bit. Those probably need to be there for this, but we now have this. So I, I really need rocks. So cluttered. Ah, it's not cluttered. No, we need we need chests. We need storage up here. Downstairs is just awkward. This is fine. This is not cluttered. This is just temporary right here. Not permanent. Okay, for now, we'll put it here. We'll move it downstairs when we have more rocks to make a platform. No. We'll make a platform. Out of wood for now. Good enough. For now. It's better than it being upstairs annoying. This. Key items. Weapons. Things. This. What is the purpose of this? It goes to... The grinding wheel. The forge improvement. Alright. Let's get back to improving the outdoors. Jank zero. The grinding wheel can go... Here. And then we'll put... Alright, let's get all this going. Flint. We need leather scraps. We actually need leather scraps suddenly. <laughs> Just one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Probably that. And then we'll get ready for this. More flint and deer hide. Okay, that's in the way now. Fine. Adds bronze and fine wood. I don't have any bronze over here. So what if I make a chest over here? Or do what I intended on doing in the first place. At the very least, I'll put one right there. For now. We'll move those in the future. And now we have room for the ads right there. Three bronze. 10 fine wood. Let's grab our bronze. Just a couple of stone arches off the lower chimney walls would do it. You're right. That would give us a platform. Fine wood. Okay, workbench. Oh. Workbench. It does not need more space. It's fine. Workbench is upgraded. But I could put this one in here. Right here. Nah. We'll, we'll fix that later. 
We'll just get it upgraded. Station is not too exposed. How is it suddenly too exposed? I haven't moved anything. Why? Why? I haven't moved anything. I don't understand. This one's fine. Do I need to do this? Will that make you happy? No, it won't. The upgrades? No, the upgrades shouldn't matter. The upgrades don't matter. I, I can't help you there. Um, sleeping is tough sometimes. It definitely can be. The cover rays at the workbench emits. What? Upgrades shouldn't matter. On the right side, you have to remove these for it to work. What? Remove what? No. They're not open because it's worked before. It worked earlier, and this side works. Maybe I just move it slightly... To the left. Okay. I guess that's how we're doing it. We're poking through the back, I think, a little. Maybe not. Whatever. Come on, game. Let's upgrade the forge. space. All right. Sure. I'm still carrying too much. That just looks like garbage. I should be able to place it right here. Upgrades are so annoying. This one could go in the front, maybe? Oh, oh, yeah, great. No, it won't fit in the front. Of course not. Maybe right here. As if we're a blacksmith. It's fine, I guess. And then we'll put you just a little bit 
away. Nope, a lot of it away. Or exactly where we had it. Dumb. Level six. Level four, that's it? What? Oh, we still need these things, that's right. Four iron and four obsidian. I will read that soon. I'm I'm focusing right now. Tool shelf. Fine wood. I put my fine wood away. <sighs> it's just so tedious sometimes. Lovely. And now, 15 iron. So much iron. Right there. Excellent. Level 7 forge. Level 5. I feel like I could do more, right? There's more. No, there's not. That's it. Okay. That's it. We did it. That's what this way. Okay, let me read. So strange. Yeah, the other side did work fine. It was really weird. I don't know what was going on there. Especially since it worked originally when I first put it up. I saw an earlier video on the internet taken by a security camera where one man was carrying a sack with a body kidnapping a child. What? Okay, that's <laughs> a dark turn. Um, yeah, that's not fun. That's unfortunately the reality of the world we live in is that there are a lot of really bad people. But only something that's not something you can control, so there's no point in worrying about it, but we don't always have control over what we worry about. Found out the upgrades are taking like a one by one meter. Can't place two of them in the same area. I, I know that. I just don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm watching your windmill get swamped by water. Yeah. That's why I avoid true crime. Stranger thing. Yeah. Yeah. As much fiction as we can come up with, reality is a worse place sometimes. Like, a lot, of, a lot of garbage out there. A lot of really bad people. Not so great. Let's not think about that. Okay, let's get a little wood. Grab some of this. Finish this right here. Lovely. Mm. Sure. Nice. Still have a lot. Can you not? Yeah, this is going to be a little annoying. Oh well. We'll do the same for all of this as well. We are out of wood. No! Oh. We'll frame the rest of the windows later.
Waffle Sea World Adventure. Yeah, kind of. All right, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with the sleeping. I just get things like that in my in your feed. Yeah, maybe you should not have that feed anymore. Social media simply sucks. I would say get rid of that. Um, I was talking yesterday. Uh, basically, rage bait is something that's unfortunately prevalent in our society. It's like TikTok and Instagram. If you watch one video, it will start feeding you more rage bait videos where it's like, Okay, a, a car incident and it's road rage and then suddenly somebody is yelling at the other guy. Well, you're like, oh, why would they do this? And now suddenly you're slightly enraged. Um, or it's politics where it's like, well, how can somebody believe this? This is so stupid. And it's rage bait. It just, if you watch one, the algorithm will feed you more. So if you can, depending on the app, what you should do is you should say, I am not interested in this stuff. I know some apps will let you do that. I think YouTube maybe does that. Instagram might do that. I can't remember which one does that. But if you see garbage BS rage bait, just say, go, go to the little three dots and say, I am not interested in this information or this post or whatever. Get rid of that. Don't watch it. Do not allow yourself to get enraged by stuff that doesn't matter. Because none of that stuff affects you. Somebody yelling at somebody else in a car. Somebody yelling at police officers because, well, I don't like being detained for this. Okay, maybe that's true. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect you. Don't let it get to you. So don't watch it. Just don't watch it. If you get scared, especially if you get scared easily. And that's what social media is. It's designed to do that to you. So you keep watching and it keeps you enraged. Just like modern politics. But I won't go into that too in depth. It's not fun. We need some serpents too. Mushroom. Ah, we'll do it later. More fish wraps is good though. Yeah, especially politics. Should you delete Instagram? I mean, I've thought about deleting Instagram, but I use it for certain social media things. Um, I kind of need it. But I try not to spend much time on it, especially reels. Don't remember the last time I used social media. YouTube doesn't count. Yeah, it's different. But unless you're starting to randomly, aimlessly scroll through shorts. If you watch my shorts, great. But watch people's shorts that you like. Don't just scroll endlessly. And I get myself caught in those traps every once in a while. But I am trying to do better. So that's why, that's why I like subscriptions. I have my YouTube on my computer set. My, my Google Chrome uh, bookmark for YouTube is set to go straight to my subscriptions so that YouTube isn't randomly suggesting me stuff. So if I want to watch somebody's shorts, if I know I like this person's shorts, I'm not randomly scrolling and hoping I find it. I go to that person's page and I will watch those shorts or whatever. So that's the better way to do it. But, you know, or set timers set. If you have an iPhone or if you have, I know iPhone does it well. Um, where you can set screen time limits for certain apps. I did that when I had an iPhone, and it was fantastic. I know Android does it in a different way, but I haven't done that yet. But it's a great way to make sure that you, one, curate your feed, make sure you're not watching garbage all the time, and two, ensure that you're only watching things and not um, wasting your life away doing something that you don't get any enjoyment out of that just enrages you and makes you feel bad. It's good. That's that's life for you. Waffles advice. It's been a it's been a waffles advice episode, I guess. <laughs> it's free. You are the product. Essentially, yes. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I don't have any rocks. I don't have, I don't have enough rocks. Okay. Well, I can't put out the forge yet. Saw a video like scariest creature on earth. Really much problem sleeping. Yeah. I mean, I, when I was a kid, that was the case too. I saw aliens. I saw a predator, and it, it made it so that I had difficult sleeping. But I mean, it's easy to be rational when you're an older adult, especially with lots of practice. Someone put a beautiful. We've run out of land to colonize. Now we colonize people's attention instead. Interesting way to put it. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, I 
want to put the forge and stuff over here. But I know that if I get too married to that idea, the black forge will take up this space right here. Or we just do another one right here. We take up this space. Sailor guns! <laughs> Hello! What if we do this? Uh, one, two, three. Just enough space. And we can get through here. So that right there is going to be our future, like, Black Forge area. And we'll still have room to put things back here. It's in line with this, pretty much. Yeah, it is. So that's the Black Forge area. And then over here can be smelting. Let's put this slightly back. Never too late for a waffle stream. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I I I'm glad you stopped by. Even if you're late, how dare you? <laughs> Fine wood. Made a lot of progress. It's been the moving episode. Wow, just appreciate this for me for a second. 50, 50, 50, 50. I have exactly four stacks. Not for long, but still, that was cool. Little things in life, you know? Place these here for now. Nope, not like that. Properly spotted. And then. Lovely. And that is our spot for our future Black Forge. Uh, oops. It's got to be four wide. Okay. Well. Guess we'll expand this a little bit too, but we're almost done with that. It's gotta be four wide. We'll have to expand just a little bit. But the structure is done. We gotta we gotta work with that. But yeah, look. There we go. An outdoor kitchen. Can anyone join the Discord? Absolutely, yeah. ASMR when? Actually, uh, take me to the river. Drop me in the water. No, I will not. You are my prisoner. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I've got a video where I... That, that's coming out soon. I think... Thursday. Friday. One of those... It's late in the week, where it's kind of like a... It's, it's basically ASMR kind of stuff, where I just sit in a thunderstorm for an hour, and it's beautiful. Nothing fancy, but it's cool. Actually work at Waffle House. Nice! Delicious waffles. Structure being done, good progress. Yeah, I mean, I don't love how this lip right here... I would like the lip right here to start right here. So maybe I should change it. Ooh, what is happening here? Get out of here. So maybe I'll move this back a little bit because if we're over here, 
I guess we don't, that's not in the way, but still. Like this, right there, should be in line with this, I think. Not the back in line with this side. So we'll probably move it, but hey, it's there. Wood has been created. That's the basic structure of our outdoor smithing area. And we really don't need it up until we need it. We're not in the mistlands just yet. But I think we need to... Ooh, let's kill two more minutes. Let's kill two minutes. We're going to finish it at four hours. Damn, this has gone by so quickly. Um, is there anything else I can do? Your pet is begging for help. Yeah, seriously. 100 likes on the video. Any of the fish free? No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is a lovely display. It's a great display. We could get a better trophy for that. But until then, I mean, we would not let the fish go free. That's a level three. And that's a lot of delicious meat. So much to rewatch, yeah. It has indeed gone dark outside. Yeah, sad fish noises. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. Yeah, gladly. Super jelly topped. Clip of the chick at Waffle House catching the stool. Good parry against the troll. I, I haven't seen that. <laughs> uh, I will eventually put maybe another trophy up there, a trophy up there. Ooh, you know what? Let's go grab the trophies. That's the thing we could do real quick. We're almost done. Almost done moving things over. We have not moved the trophies over. And I kind of would like to put up some of the Certling trophies just to make it look good. Uh, let's grab the Brenna trophy. We have five Certling trophies. Cool. Rancid Remains trophy is a cool one, too. Regular Troll trophy. This is a cool one. We'll grab them all. We need them anyway, right? Fishy noises. I don't know. I, I don't think I've seen that one. Alright, trophies are going over here. So, let's go basic trophies on the right, cool trophies on the left. So, well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? It's like Black Forest. We should put this one up, that's for sure. with the Brenner trophy right there? No, we need like a display specifically for the Hilder trophies. We have space up here. Maybe it'd be, ooh, ooh, hold the phone. Ideas. Brenna trophy right there. That's that looks really good, and that gives us light. All right. So now, how about a little more light, like I don't know. How about trophy right here? Trophy right here. Probably a trophy up here. Maybe a trophy right here. But what a trophy? Looks okay, I guess. Nice. It's like a cultist trophy. And I don't know, something else. Something cool. Maybe Rancid Remains. Seven. That's not the coolest looking trophy. And it goes with the banner. It does, actually. 
It really does. Wow. That looks really good. All right, we have room for a little bit more. I mean, we have a lot of room for the walls over here, but like we have two we have we have one more Certling trophy right here. Just for light. Yeah, that's fine. It gets in the way. The other one. Boom. Oh, we have three more. That's right. RR trophy? Rancid remains. Looks good combined with a Wraith trophy. I don't think I have a Wraith trophy. I gotta figure out what trophies to put up here. Or that should just be weapons. Maybe. Why not make one full structure? Like a blacksmith house? I mean, I could. So, like... Well, the, the original intent was to do this opposite of this, like reverse, and have, like, a, a wall right... Or a door right here. So I might do that, but I kind of like the idea of doing it right here to utilize the space a little better. And then having all this be the forge. For... Not the... You know, the... The... the the smelting area. It just utilizes space pretty well. So having it open like that kind of works, I think. Yeah, Wraith trophies are very hard drop, very rare drop. Makes occultists seem easy. Oh, wow. I tend to hang my Wraith trophies. Armor stands look like a coat rack. Okay. Alright, what if... Should we do this? Probably. Just one of these. Ideally like this. And then... That's nice. Ooh, that's annoying. Do I like that? Do I care? I think it's fine. This looks good, though. That looks really good. More tar equals more better. Yeah. Arches do look nice. And it's not too obtrusive over there. Uh, for now, I think we should put two trophies. Seven and seven. I think that looks good. Enough. Good enough, at least. Cool. Okay, I think I'm going to conclude it there. That should do it for the day. A bit over four hours, definitely longer than I expected. It has been fun. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Oh, <laughs> I've lost the ability to speak. Thanks for being here. It has been lovely. Love y'all. And I'll see you later. Bye.